Hello and welcome to another episode of Talking Shop. Today we're joined by Tattoo Tech, Ash Swain, and we've also got Aaron back from his honeymoon. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you like the episodes and let us know who you think we should get on Talking Shop next. Oh, I'll tell you what I was going to say, uh, which is a bit of a scripted bit. Welcome back to you, Aaron. Mm. Congratulations. Oh, again. yeah. Just got, oh, just got married. Oh, did you? Just got married. Yeah, that's it. Been well, on his honeymoon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he missed, he missed the last episode because yeah. you were on your honeymoon, right? I was, I was. So In the Norwegian yeah. fjords. Yeah, that's it. What a, what a, what a, what a place. But uh, yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen the, uh, I think it was Wayne's World with um, Drew Barrymore and uh, she's... Uh, Bjergen, Bjergen from Schmugen, Bjergen Fjords. <laughs> Bjergen, near the Bjergen Fjords. Well, nice to meet you, Bjergen Kajargen from Kinjergen, near the Bjergen Fjords. Did we see that? <laughs> no, let's do that again. No, I'll I'll take I drew it, Barrymore yeah. as well back in the day. <laughs> I just know Barrymore is in one of your murderer. No, Drew Barrymore is in the, the actress. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah no, Wayne's World. Yeah, okay, I'll watch it. I'll have to watch, watch it. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. where the Vikings are from, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, it's well known for it. Yeah. Yeah, it, I mean, it's just mesmerising, to be honest. Everywhere you look is just just, just a picture in itself. Mm. So, yeah. It's almost like a film. Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah honestly. Are so, all the Norwegians massive? Um, you would think that, but no, actually. Uh, I think that was a, a myth, isn't it? Yeah. Like, yeah. I sort of had the same thought. And I, thought, I don't oh. know. Yeah. Well, I went to Copenhagen, uh, obviously Denmark, but yeah. yeah, I felt small. They were giant. Like, like they were all, yeah, six foot plus. Yeah, yeah. well, you are. You are yeah, that is true. <laughs> so I, tall, tall, anyway. I don't know, really, like five, seven, something like that. We'll go with five, seven, yeah. And a half. I try, like, I try, if I can get away with it, I'll go five, eight. But I'm, yeah, I'm five, nine, and a half. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't discount me the half. No, no. Like, <laughs> well, for ages, I'd be like, yeah, you know, Messi's five, eight. And then someone was like, no, he's not. Five, nine. Five, nine. <laughs> <laughs> go around so, saying, oh, it's all right, I'm the same height as Messi, best football player in the world. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll skim over the height. Yeah, stop. that's it. We'll stop that. We won't, we won't, we won't put this in. Do that six foot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the camera's making yeah. it look small. It, yeah. <laughs> you got a cushion, I guess. Yeah, yeah it's got yeah. the cushion. <laughs> yeah. What have you been up to this week? I work four on four off, so yeah. um, I did. I finished work Monday. Yeah. Tuesday, kids were still off. Cause kids didn't go back to school till Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, um, it's like your day, your last today, the last day off. Then yeah, I'm back to yeah. work tomorrow. Yes. Got it. Um, I don't. I don't mind weekends because uh, I'm a bit of a loner. I like to work yeah. on my own. And Saturday and Sunday, obviously, the drivers are off, mm. so I can. I love to crack on. Yeah. I like to get get when I come home. I yeah. like to think right, I couldn't have done any more today. Mm. So Saturdays and Sundays, I don't get the interruptions. Mm. You know, every time you're a reverse beep, come up to the door, you think, oh, what, what, what is now? It be? What now? <laughs> what? And it's happening like six, seven times a day. In between all the other things going on, Saturdays and Sundays, I've got. I write my list on an A4 piece of paper, not on my phone because distractions. And I just, I, my aim by Sunday afternoon is to have everything ticked. Yeah. So that's why I like weekends because no one interrupts me. No. And no call outs either. Your shoulder. The what? You don't have drivers over your shoulder. Going, no. what, what, what are you doing here then? I don't no. get that very often. It's no. more that every, if they've got a problem, obviously they've gone on the, the, on the clock. So mm. you've got to drop what you're doing. Go sort that so they can crack on. But when that's happening like six, seven times a day mm. and you're in the middle of something that needs your attention, does get a little bit frustrating mm-hmm. sometimes. Like you keep putting down what you're doing. And then when you come back with my brain, I come back to the job, I stand there for it yeah. and think, what was I doing? Mm. And then you just get into it 20 minutes later. Another one's back in it. What now? Mm-hmm. I just lay down. Right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> yeah, back to work tomorrow. And then uh, I don't even, the, the thing is, I don't know what I'm going into mm. with my job because I work with another lab, but we yeah. don't, we don't. We just leave each other a, a note, so I don't know what I've got till tomorrow. Yeah. But it's best, because ignorance is bliss and all that. Yeah, mm-hmm. of course, mate, of course. And yeah, obviously over the weekend as well. Are you one of these people that you've got to be doing something? Yeah. You've always got to be doing something, yeah. 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 If, I'm, if, if I'm not productive, I'm just annoying. <laughs> if I'm at home and, like, say the kids In are off and the missus is off, and we're not doing that, we're just meandering about, I'll be pacing about, or I'm just, I'll just wander off and I'll be in the garage or... I can't not do s- no. summer. Yeah. I'm either, I'm either going full tilt or I'm asleep. Yeah. There's no real in the middle. No. And I can't help it. I've tried many years to work on, do you know, like f- Friday night, I normally do a film, film night. So tonight when I go and we'll have a film night, but mm. I'll be, the girls will be watching the film and have the popcorn and I'll be watching it, but I'm not really there. I'm just, <laughs> just like twitching yeah. constantly. I think just sit still, just sit still. <laughs> 
And I'm just staring at the telly thinking, I've seen this. There's only so many times you can watch Frozen. And I was just about to say, what have you got lined up? I don't know. It'd, it'll be something I've seen before. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be Frozen or... I don't mind Toy Story. I can watch that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Toy Story's good. Yeah, it's normally something to do with princesses. Yeah. Or, mm. Do the... Uh, does making the videos for TikTok and stuff, does that sort of help keep you busy? Yeah. I, that, I don't even know really how it came about. I started doing them through fitness. Yeah. Because obviously I was a big boy. Yeah. Um, and I did want, the first ever TikTok I made was, was like a, I can't remember the sound. It was a trending audio. It was, I think it went shaka mm. and then it did yeah, this yeah. noise and it was me fat to me slimmer. Yeah. And it did like 70,000 views on the first ever TikTok I did. Oh, really? And I thought, what the fuck? Yeah. And do then, that again. Yeah. But then I couldn't, there's only so many times you could do that. Yeah. And then I did one Balloon random. <laughs> yeah, you can't keep repeating no, no. the same thing. Because I do my own edit. Yeah, when, do you yeah. know when you see people remaking the same thing? Over and I over again, yeah. yeah. Whatever. Yeah. And then I did a spanner in one. Because obviously I've been in the spanner world since I was a kid. And it just went wild. Like, wild in my terms of views. I thought, well, I'm doing this day in, day out. So there's unlimited content here. And uh, made a few more. And obviously something that peaks and troughs, doesn't it? Depending yeah. on what you're doing. But, uh, yeah, it... The spanner and I can make loads of, but then some. St- I, I did. It's annoying because you get criticised whatever you put on. So whatever I do and yeah. however I do it, someone's like, hey, "You should have done it that way." You and I just that bit's really annoying. But with the I can't remember the original com- the question. What was the original question? Oh, the original question was uh, I can't remember to be honest either. Yeah, see, so we were just talking about TikTok. Good start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok. Yeah, it gives me um, long week. It, it it makes me conscious of doing the jobs right, yeah. for sure. Mm. You know, like you, can, you can't cut corners when yeah. you're recording it because mm. you, you're going to rinse you for it. Yeah, well, that's the um, problem with social media, though. Everybody's got opinion on it. Yeah, mm. everybody. And you don't have to back it up. Mm. You don't, no. But I do, I call people out. If yeah. someone does like an arty comment, I'll you do a video reply. <laughs> yeah. I just think that's I've funny. Seen them. If you want to, uh, if you want to be the big man, I'll, yeah. let's have a chat. Yeah, yeah let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not aggressive, that's no, not my no, personality no. at all. No, no, no. But, no. Yeah. I, um, I think I have already mentioned this, but when we did, was it our first one, I think, or we did um, one of the podcasts when we rebranded and um, apparently I have this thing like when I, I go, mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, on like, the podcast. Yeah, yeah. I'm not so lie, somebody I noticed that. Somebody, yeah, I did well, notice. Yeah, it. so I do as well. When we rewatch them, I'm like, oh god, all I'm doing is, mm, mm, yeah, 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 mm, yeah. And uh, somebody did comment. I can't remember where they put something along the lines of, "Could you stop saying yeah, yeah. Mm, yes after everything they so say?" So now please. he's doing it more. Yeah. <laughs> so literally, all the shorts. So literally, somebody talking to me, going in the bag, going, mm. "Yeah, yeah, mm, yeah." Mm. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and make a conscious effort today not to do it, but I'll get distracted. And I'll start doing it again, I promise. Yeah, that's so. fine. It's, it, I think it's one of them you want to acknowledge that you're listening, don't yeah. you? Mm, yeah. I do. If someone's talking to me about something, I like to nod every now and again and just to, yeah. no, you've got me. You've got yeah, my attention. Yeah. That's ben calls it space. active listening. I like that. So if anybody says, oh yeah, you know, why active do you keep listening. doing it? I'll just say, well, I'm, I'm just listening. I'm, I'm active listening. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I'm letting you know that I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I'm not. <laughs> yeah. I'm just much. grunting time. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So you've been on the spanner since kid then? Yeah, well, uh, I started off on cut, well, from the age of 14, I was playing about with dirt bikes because yeah. we had no money for no one to fix them. So dad, dad's um, always been, he's always tried, mm. but he was never very mechanically minded. He had an uncle who was very good with, with my, my motorbikes. So I didn't have anyone to guide me. I was just trial and error as a kid. Like I'd buy and sell mopeds from 14. I'd buy a wrecker and... Yeah do what I could with it, polish it, try and make a few quid. And then when I was, when I left school, I went to a car garage, um, did a year there. I always wanted to do trucks. Dad always said, Dad, Dad had this story. You know, there's a guy who fitted an air seat, got 500 quid for it. Yeah. And I'm like, one job, 500 quid. Yeah. So that back then, that's a lot of, lot of dough. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm like, trucks is where I need to be. So mm-hmm. a year on cars, I was actually pretty good on cars. Yeah. But I always wanted to do the bigger stuff. Yeah. Uh, I was doing, in my first year of cars, I was doing head gasket. Well, first three months, I was doing head gaskets and cam belts and clutches. And mm-hmm. the guy I was working for, a little independent garage in Basingham, um, when, I got, when, I, when he took me on, he went, because he had a guy already, but he had gone off for cancer treatment. So he said, this is just a gap filler. Like, I just need you until he's 
mm. recovered and comes back. So I always had it in my mind, this is temporary. 12 months in, I'm actively looking for an apprenticeship in trucks. And then the day come where I got one, like I got offered an apprenticeship and I told him, he was like, oh, I was going to, I was just about to put your money up. Cause obviously he'd seen, I was, oh, he's actually all right. He's, he's not bad at this job. Um, but I'd already made my decision. So then I went into work at a company called Rowai, which is a farm, which I'd say any young, young lad, a uh, truck tech, he said main dealer, didn't he? Like for young yeah. lads. That's great if you want to be, yeah, for an apprenticeship, absolutely amazing for the training. Mm. But you, yeah, if you want to be a specialist in an area, absolutely. But for me, we've going to work for a farm which had a truck workshop, tractors, plant machinery, cars, vans. I learned a little bit about everything. Yeah. And there's not a lot I can't... Take your hand to. Yeah, I can turn my hand to... I'm not a specialist in anything by any means. Like if you brought a combine with a canvas fault, that's not me. That's, no. that's not for me. But if you bring a van with, I don't know, something wrong with it, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna sort it, or a truck, I'll sort it. Like, not, not specialist stuff, mm. but I can turn me on to pretty much anything from a moped yeah. to a 360 digger. Yeah. Because I went, I started in that background where yeah. there was a fabrication shop at the bottom. So you learned to weld. The, the, the building side of it would bring a digger in with a track off. So you'd have to put track on. Then the, we used to look after a fleet of lorries for outside companies. So you'd be on the brand new Renaults on a Saturday morning and um, threw off trailers. You just did everything. And I think that's important for youngsters to learn a little bit about a lot. Yeah. Not. It, it's all of course. As well. When you're young as well, the more things you try, and I said this before about my, my, bro my little brothers, they don't really know what they want to do. Try and give it try a go. It, if you're no absolutely. good at it, try something else. Yeah. You don't yep. like it. Well, that's it. You don't know what you're good at until yeah. you've tried it, do you? Yeah. And I didn't, I was always interested in, this is a problem I'm having with apprentices. Because the way the world is, you can't, for me, I grew up around dirt bikes. Yeah. So we would always have to tinker. Mm -hmm. We'd have to fix what we broke. And, but nowadays there's nowhere to ride them. So kids ain't got them mm -hmm. things anymore. And you, so the, they're all, people criticize kids for always in front of screens and then they criticize them for hanging around the shops yeah. and they criticize them. So yeah. where can you, they what can't do you want win. Them to do? No. Where do you want them to be? Yeah. Do you want them hanging around the shops or do you want them in front of the screen? You need to pick a lane. Yeah. Mm. So they're not learning the skills Yeah. for me that I had the opportunity to learn. Like I used to ride my dirt back across a little bit of wasteland mm. and then when I snapped the chain, I had to figure out how to yeah. mend the chain or whatever the basics were. Now they haven't got that because they're not allowed them experiences. No, no, just iPads and yeah. Playstations and phones. And, and that's it. Yeah, try and run a dirt bike across Washington's now and you'll be, the police it. will be there. We get stuck off. That's yeah. it. That's finger. it. Mm. So they haven't got, the, every apprentice I've had in the last two years has been pushed to us by the college. Yeah. It's been through no, they haven't come to us directly through their own I've accord. Mm. Yeah. It's been, right, college, I don't really know what to do with his grades got this opening on this course they're, they're looking for someone go have a word with them yeah so they're not gen genuinely interested no. then they come in the job and they're like oh it's cold and it's fucking wet and yeah, this is hard, hard work, work. Yeah. i keep busting my knuckles and mm, grease like, on the yeah. Floor. <laughs> yeah and you can tell there's no you're talking to them about talking them through summer yeah and you're talking to them and they're like this <laughs> <laughs> their attention span's gone because they're yeah. just not yeah. it's not no, for them no. and you think i like your kid but it's going to be a long old road if you're not yeah, interested. Because when the phone rings at seven o'clock at night on a Friday, Are you the last go? thing you're going to want to do is go and sort that job because mm. you're not interested in no. it. Whereas for me, the place I first started, I used to do the gaffer's heading because I always wanted more. Like yeah. I always, if I always wanted the engine rebuilds, which they never came through the door. And if they did, he'd give it to the guy who'd done them because mm. then it was it was foolproof. And I'm like, I just want to be learning that stuff. Yeah, I want the stuff. I want to be learning something every day. I'm, I have always wanted to be a bit better every yeah. day. The young lads, they don't have that. They want what's easy right now. Mm. And then five o'clock comes and they're like, I'm can, done. can I go? Yeah. Am I right to go? And you're fucking balls deep in a relay yeah, and you're yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. Well, then, whatever. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even going to argue with no. you. Just, just pointless. So yeah, the, the, the apprentice side, the apprenticeship side of stuff, the kids aren't allowed to be not allowed to be kids anymore no. well they are but in a new world it's yeah yeah games mm. and the market seems to be flooded with technical geniuses but yeah. not yeah 
Do us. Do us. Yeah. 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 Well, I, like my brother's like, oh, I'm I'm gonna I'm, you know what, I'm gonna save some money, I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna do stocks, I'm gonna buy some crypto. Like, what? Mm. That's mm. good luck, yeah, good luck with that. Yeah. But that's social media, isn't it? That's yeah. Social media. Yeah, yeah I, well we said this in the previous videos as well, like you see these videos all the time, oh um Joe got rich from spending all day on his phone. Yeah. And kids look at that and go, Wow, I spend all day I'd on my do phone. That yeah. I could do that. Yeah. It, yeah. What are we? What are we teaching? Yeah. You know, everybody. Oh, you know, you can. You could earn all this money. Yeah. Being on your phone. No. <laughs> you're not, you're not. I watched you your YouTube video the other day. Before they started the video, they went on a tangent about. Oh, if you if you watch this video, mm. you can earn this much by doing this on your phone. And you're thinking, uh, that, what's that teaching yeah, people do yeah. for? Yeah, they do. And then they go enroll in my. Um, stock market course it's only 300 and 300 pound a month and you know and look at all of my members making thousands yeah. and yeah. you think if he was making all this dough he wouldn't need to be selling you a no. product because yeah. he's, he's be in his Lambo limited yeah. bashing yeah. he's not that's and I it. certainly it's wouldn't like... be telling you how to do it exactly yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. keeping that card close <laughs> yeah. to my chest yeah. but they don't see it do they no. No. there's no get rich quick scheme no, no. if there is it fizzles out fast yeah. mm. well, I'm pretty sure Andrew Tate had like a, uh, a a club or a membership that you could pay for and he would teach you how to be better with women. <laughs> what? <laughs> I wonder how many people actually paid for it though. A lot. I bet there was a lot. I bet there was. Well, you did. <laughs> yeah. So you know so much about it. <laughs> Still yeah. useless. Yeah, me too. That's why I married the first one that showed me interest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why I put a ring on it as well. Yeah. I'm not married yet, but I'm engaged. Um, and she's always said, when we get married, when we get married, I'm like, oh, I put the ring on your finger just so you'd stop giving me an headache and you wouldn't go anywhere. Oh, they never do. And <laughs> when you put the ring on, they're like, oh, no, this is the next thing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we said, we, we always said we wanted a long engagement and now she's like, when we get married, why'd you ask then? Oh, we said long engagement. So I've got that up my sleeve now. Every time I, uh, you know, she, she mentions it, I'm like, you we said. said long engagement. Yep. Yeah. So I can't say that one well for me no, no, no yeah. did you say that no 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 no, no. I, I had no choice no. no was you quick to fire from engagement to marriage it was you know what i think it was i think it was 18 months mm. 18 months so that's how they used to do it though isn't it? Mm. yeah 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 quick you'd have yeah. your date yeah get you engaged would. right when we get married you'd generally you'd normally mm. get married within a year yeah. wouldn't you? of mm. meeting yeah and mm. then well marriage rate wasn't as bad the no. failure rate wasn't as bad mm. by then either so no. i wonder what it is now I don't know. No. No. I've, I've picked the right. I've, I've got with my last one was at school, and yeah, just pick the right one. You can mold each other into what you want, yeah. right? That's it. Yeah. If you exactly. stick to, you grow up together. You do, yeah. Do you know what it is for me as well. What makes it easy for me is if you just enjoy doing things together. Like we do, we'll do it. We'll do all sorts together. Yep. We'll do all sorts together. We'll go traveling. We'll you know we like the same movies. We'll do. We'll just do anything yeah you just genuinely make yeah go for a drink yeah, yeah 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 you need to be like best mates you do yeah, for it to you work it's yeah. important but but yeah um so you think that you have to have a genuine interest before you become or you get into this trade then really you might fluke it yeah maybe but yeah because i can say i didn't have like a genuine interest in sales i think oh yeah you know what i want to be when i'm going you grew up with sales, sales <laughs> with sales i'd say is different because your money mm. is your money will go on effort yeah. base won't it yeah Truck yeah. spanner is not like that. No. It goes on ability. You've got to have genuine passion for it. You have to have passion, which ability and knowledge comes through passion or time yeah. served. Yeah. So like you could maybe earn, for a use of a figure, a thousand quid bonus a mm. month. You don't get that in the truck world. No. You'll get, your, you'll get what you're worth. So if you're not interested, you're not going to progress. No. And you're never mm. going to get them top tiered books. Yeah. Mm. And the, in, like, the, the young lads, they come in the door and they hear what the... Us lads are on and we're qualified and they're like, oh, wicked. Yeah. Like, yeah, well, that's five years down the line, mate. Yeah. And that's when you've got mm -hmm. class one and you can competently go down on a breakdown yeah. safely. Yeah. And you can diagnose the most random faults. Like, that's going to take you a time. And then six months in, they're like, oh, can I have a pay rise? Mm -hmm. oh, you're barely worth what? Mm -hmm. what, we're <laughs> yeah. you now, what, like, get, what you get now. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's where it's different because like, it's skill based. Whereas you, you can say you put in a you build relationships and make sales mm. don't you with trucks you don't build a relationship you've just got to develop knowledge yeah. to, to fix make it. that work and fix it quicker and first time and yeah yeah and it's just a whole nother it's just different yeah it's it's different I think it's the same with like electricians and plumbers and mm. it's experience based not I'm sure you've had sales based on pure luck right time 
Yeah, it's, sales is timing. Yeah, really, sales and, is all about timing. Yeah. And this, yeah, it's it's literally if someone's got X amount of cash at that yeah. amount of time and they're looking yeah. for that product, you're gonna yeah. you struck gold. Aren't you? Problem solution type thing. We we always say we're quite lucky with it. We've got a great product and it. You know, people love it. That six months, six weeks, six years that you we normally will always get. We're ready now. Yes, right. they'll come yeah. back to the yeah. Yeah. right. We're ready for it. And that's so, it when you've got a good product. It yeah. sells mm-hmm. itself anyway, yeah. doesn't it? It does. Yeah, it really. Yeah. Does. We do have we do have an easy job in that sense when we do these demos. Don't get me wrong; it takes a while because I I'm not a technician. I'm not a mechanic. I've never done anything remotely like that. You probably tell, uh, but <laughs> um, my girly fingers. But um, but yeah, uh, can't remember where we trailer thought was going now. But it takes a long time to learn the product. But once you know it, yeah, it's like yesterday. I did have some blokes laughing at me yesterday. I felt like a machine. I just had my lunch, just had my coffee and I was doing this demo and literally just was talking from start to finish. And I was like, that just roll uh, Yeah. I just literally, it just, just comes out. Yeah. yeah. Just comes out. Literally, yeah. I did this whole demo yesterday, pretty much talking. I'm talking now, just, just talking, 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 talking. I could see him laughing. I was, and I was like, Oh, you know, oh, yeah, it's good, isn't it? And they sort of said, Oh, you tell you've been doing this a lot. I was like, yeah, I'll be, I say the same thing pretty much every day. <laughs> three to three four to, times a three day. Three to four times yeah. a day three to four days a week for years now. Yep. So that's um, the experience of it. Right? Now you can read yeah, it off. Yeah. Yeah. And if someone uh, like I, I messaged you on a Saturday night or yeah, Sunday yeah. morning, whatever day it was, I, was like, I can't get into this scan. Yeah. yeah. And you went, you're not going to new gen. And yeah. I looked to the left where I, I was so zoned in on 2017 yeah. yeah. scan R series. And I thought everybody does not talking. Yeah. I messaged you. I was like, I'm struggling with this man. Yeah, you need to go in new gen. And I literally flicked my eyes to the left and I was like, you did. <laughs> it's literally there. And I clicked yeah. it, 2017 yeah. R series, boom. Yeah. Everything come up. Yeah. I was like, oh my God. But it's just knowing the product. Yeah, it, it is. That is it. But that's ultimately it. you have to get it wrong to learn those yes. things. Yes. Yeah. And that's gonna be, that's the same for apprenticeships now is an apprentice is. And anybody learning anything really, but in, you, unfortunately you have to get it wrong mm. before. So you do. Yeah. yeah. My apprenticeship was at a tire place and, um, oh dear. well, it was a bit like <laughs> I didn't sort it myself. So school sorted it for me and, um, I was useless. Yeah. They were all coming back. You've put this on wrong. Yeah. <laughs> was it truck tires or car tires? no car tires car tire. thankfully oh. oh god yeah <laughs> oh, dear. so, so you do got- you know what they had me doing literally just arranging them <laughs> I couldn't even do that because they've got like a special way of stacking them yeah, have you yeah. seen the way they the- mind boggling I couldn't yeah. get it. I couldn't figure it out. I was useless. Well, I was on Sunday today. I didn't realise that you did that. <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah, that was that was my approach. It's sources for courses though. Yeah. Aren't you? You're the T boy. I it? am, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. That's that's what I well, that's all I was good for in the end, <laughs> to be honest with you. Couldn't get yeah, But then you fell into the right slot. Yeah. I did. Now. yeah exactly. Yeah. That's what life is, isn't it, really? Mm. And that's going back to the, the right subject slot. of of interest, mm. you would have never been interested in tires, no. fitting tires. No. So you will never no, excel in it. No, I wouldn't have. Sales, you've obviously got a taste for the dough and you you gift to the gap. Yeah. So you I think I just enjoy excel. meeting new people, going out I I've always I like being on the move. I couldn't sit down in one place. Yeah, I've been told of that about it. You like yeah. to be yeah, mm. to be going around and doing things. We so. often say the same thing. We we couldn't do a desk job. We no, couldn't no, no. sit there all day and work behind a no, computer. It's hard. You know, it's it, really hard. Yeah, I can't do that. So to be, focus in on something as yeah. well. Yeah. It's hard, isn't so it? To be so. on the road somewhere different every day. You know, literally, I've gone this week from from Cornwall to Portsmouth to mm. South Wales. You yeah, know, I've, in a week. That's, yeah, uh, you know, and that's that's what I love. You know, yeah, that's, yeah. That's yeah. The difference. So I I enjoy breakdowns in that respect because I don't know about you boys, but um, I've got a young family, and so when I'm like I'm on a breakdown, I'm in the van. Mm. I'm not using my brain. I'm driving. I've got my time to think to myself. I listen to my podcast. Yep. Yeah, my music. yeah. I've got that mm. hour or whatever to decompress. And then, so like being on the road would work for me, I think. Like yeah. A mobile mechanic, I think it'd be a great job for me, mm. but mm. Um, as it's downsides as well, because in winter that can't be fun. Oh, yeah. no. Okay, yeah. Being on the road, it's, it gives you a minute, doesn't it? Yeah. Just or even breathe. now at the minute, like 28, 30 degrees or whatever it is, mm. and your overall, so. Yeah, I don't yeah. wear them. No, no, no. It was a battle on my gaffer when I first started. He was like, you've got to put them on. I was like, there's not a chance. No. <laughs> Work trousers for me, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he knew from the the minute I started, he's fighting a losing battle with this kid. Yeah. Just leave him to do their yeah. thing. And they just leave me to run the workshop. And yeah. In fact, I was going to ask you that. So when you sort of first doing TikTok videos and that sort of thing, did you have to sort of approach them to sort of say, look, is this all right to do it? Or did you just sort of, just sort of do it, it wrong with it? It didn't really... I've only really just getting started, mm. to be honest. Mm. I've got so much, so many ideas. Yeah. And there's so many jobs I haven't covered. Mm. But when it comes to Highfields, the company I work for, 
They're such a good company. Like the, I started, I can't remember, I think it was four years ago, five years ago, come straight out of, so I've had three jobs in my life and one of them I stayed for three weeks and it wasn't for me. It was at a dealer, in fact. Yeah. So I left my original apprenticeship place, went to a dealer for three weeks, I had a Barney with my old gaffer. Um, Cause I was always under that apprentice yeah. banner. Yeah. Cause I'd done my whole apprenticeship, but I was like six years in at this stage. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want apprentice money no more. I don't want to mm. be treated like, no. we had a set to, I was getting job offers all the time anyway, cause we was, I worked in MOT lane, yeah. so you'd see people all day. So I was getting job offers weekly basis. I had this Barney, rang a guy up, look, I've jacked, come for a chat. Went there three weeks. It was a toxic environment, to be honest. Mm. It was like new boys come in. I've, I'm not a big character. I'm fairly quiet mm. in my work aspect, but I'll crack on with the job. And I was shining maybe a little bit too much that I didn't like it. I didn't fit in because I was doing too much too uh, fast. Mm. I was working through my dinner because I wanted to leave early. Like, I'm not having yeah. an hour dinner break, unpaid. No. I don't come to work to have an hour unpaid in the middle. Yeah. And I, I, I had this chat with the guy I went to work for. I was like, I'll have half an hour and I'll leave half an hour mm. early or you pay me an extra hour. I'm not having an hour unpaid in the middle of the day. Mm. So they didn't like that. It just didn't sit. So I went back to my original yeah. place um, and then I'd lost that apprentice banner. Um, I thought, what was the question? <laughs> I can't even remember that, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Then I went to Highfields. Um, it still didn't, the, the job didn't fit me. I just had my young, my oldest daughter and I was working Monday to Friday, seven till five, mm. seven till five, 15, whenever. They didn't really have to stay late very often. Every now and again when harvest and stuff broke, you'd stay until late, yeah. whatever. It was, mm. wasn't was consistent. But then you had your Saturday mornings as well. Um, it was every Saturday morning for about six years, but then we all had a chat and like, this is too much. So we did every other Saturday, but I just felt like I was always working. Mm -hmm. There was no, t I was at home at night at like getting quarter six, seeing my daughter for two hours and then she's eyes are rolling around, she's a baby. Yeah. I thought something needs to change here. Like I can't. Can't keep doing that. No, like she's, they're not young. I spoke to all my friends are older. Yeah. I'm 29, no look at older, but my brothers are older, my best mates, they're 35, 34. I've always knocked about with their mates, so I've, I can learn from their mistakes. Yeah. I've always watched them and thought, that's a good decision, I'm gonna follow that. That's a terrible decision, I'll not make that. Yeah. I observe people from afar, yeah. and I could see people who have been working, they go, oh shit, he's got a nice van, he's got a nice car. His kids are fucking assholes. Yeah. He's not home enough. Mm. I need to find this balance here, I'm not home enough. So mm. I went to the forum for off for Highfield, and um, best thing I ever did, but as far as the company goes, it's, I run the show when I'm there. Like I'm, there's two of us, opposite shifts. We don't see each other. I run the workshop when I'm on shift. Um, and if I think this, the company needs something, yeah, put it forward. Look, we're lagging here. We need this. Yeah, get sound get it sorted. Mm -hmm. Like prime example, when I first started, they had nothing. It was basically a shed. Loads of nice lorries, trailers, but we had no pit, no rollers. We had mobile rollers, very basic. Yeah, and I built it into what. I wanted the place to be. And it's always been a conversation I'd have with a gaffer, Pip. There's two, there's three gaffers, Tim, Josh, and Pip. Pip's like staff manager. Yeah. Josh, transport manager, and Tim's the owner, but he's he's like your dad, he's, like, he's in the wings. Yeah. Uh, he's got his own businesses. He's got multiple companies. Josh is his son. So if I've got, so say I think we need to invest in this area, I approach him in the right manner. I think we need to have yeah. this. And it's always, I'll have a think about it and he'll come back normally the next day. It's not one of them companies where it's no. four month review. Yeah. yeah, I like your idea, um, sort it. Yeah. It's always the same with me, just, just sort it. Yeah. I'm like, sound, That's I'll get your quote. Talking. And it's how it's always been, whether it be the pit, which was like nearly an 80 grand investment with the rollers, the mm. groundworks, diagnostics. Yeah. Pff, everything, like getting the paint, the floor painted so it wasn't slippy and they're just a great company. And as far as the TikToks go, I never asked for a permission. Mm. So it's easy mm. to apologize and ask for permission, but they, he's seen them because mm. he's told me. Yeah. And, uh, well, well it's a good advert done. for them really, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah, a great bit of advertising as yeah, well. Yeah, it really. it's not the reason I do it. No, like, it's, no. <clears throat> and for me, like with the TikTok, it's not like I'm promoting anything. No. I've got nothing to sell you. No. I do it because initially, obviously I enjoyed the attention. Yeah. And then I'm thinking, I get messages daily from young lads and lasses that like, I love that. Yeah. Um, I learned something today. Or the comments on mostly the message on Instagram. I don't see many of the messages on TikTok because they come through. You upload a video and they burn for about 24 yeah. hours. You get like 200 notifications. You can't see them. No. Unless you're going to scroll through. I don't think TikTok's very good for messages because no, I, I miss them all the time. Like, oh, 
I never even got a notification that mm. yep. I even got that message. Oh, I don't yeah. open my inbox no. in TikTok. Are you on about the inbox? Yeah, it's not like invite. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's not really inviting for you to check no. the messages. That, no. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, I keep my inbox on TikTok locked. Yeah. Because I can't. There's too many inboxes. You've got your mates and your family on your WhatsApp. Yeah. Mm. Then you've got your iMessage for like yeah. your missus. Then you've got your Instagram inbox. TikTok's just too much. Because no. like, there's, I don't know how many followers I've got, but let's say 1% of them message me a day. It's too many. I can't. Yeah. So I leave that locked. Yeah. Like, yeah. Get me on Instagram if you want. If you if actually want to reach yeah. out. In fact, yeah. Jack talk, talks about a similar thing. You know, he, he wants to respond to everybody. Yeah. You know, he doesn't want to miss anything, but it's just not. It's not yeah. possible. In and a day, you feel so you know? bad sometimes. Like you, I'll do. I'll be at work all day, and then I get home, have tea with the kids, sort them out, go to the gym. I get home at night, and I've been posting stories and stuff. I try and stay active, and then I can see the, the inbox icon at the top, like thirty messages, and you think. I can't today. I just no. can't comprehend. Because yeah. a lot of it is like... It's not a job, really, isn't it? Like, I love it. I love I love it. But some days you're like, I can't today. Yeah. There's had too much just today. switch like, off. I can't. Because it's never just one message back. Mm. It's like a conversation. I like to give everyone a minute. Yeah. And then before you know it, you're 20 messages deep. And then there's 29 more. And you're yeah. like... And you're out with the kids. Yeah, you just, well, you, phone, you've just yeah. got the kids to bed even. Yeah. And your missus is looking at you like, you're going to talk to me yeah. for a bit. <laughs> yeah. So you're like, right, we'll Kodak that. We'll let that one develop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the next one. So the best sometimes you get is like, maybe you'll get a heart on the message. Just to, I'm, no, I'm acknowledging, yeah. I, I, I yeah. appreciate your message. It's yeah. nothing worth me replying to. Yeah. But I've seen it. But it is, you feel cruel sometimes. Mm. Like you, and like, if there's something important, I'll skim it, like I'll skim read, and it's got a problem with this. You got any ideas? Like, oh, this kid's are struggling. Mm. Uh, yeah, I have got an idea. Oh no, not a fucking clue. Mm. Or fitness stuff. I'm looking for instance. That's the worst question to get. I'm looking with the fitness side of stuff because yeah, that's that, primarily my, in, my yeah, Instagram. Yeah, I was gonna say you must have like some techniques, some people from the trade, but actually a lot from yeah. From the I get side. a lot more engagement on TikTok through the spanners. Yeah, the Instagram is more of my life blog. Yeah. Um, obviously I post my fitness stuff on there because a lot of people message like they actually find inspiration in it because for whatever reason they see you when you what you've come from yeah it's relatable it, do you know what it is it's like believe like when um, it's a bit like our handover pictures I suppose mm. it, I think they're sometimes the perfect thing because it's a bit like showing people oh oh people are doing mm. that yeah yeah Face to the oh well they've done it so people yeah. listen to people yeah yeah yeah, uh, yeah. If, if they see they they've got something they copy it well not yeah. copy it but they follow the same yeah it must be good for them it's good for us yeah I'll be honest I have seen like your your pictures of uh, videos and I'm like I've not done any exercise today mm. I'll tell you what I'll go go on I'll go do it now like, it does it does yeah you do you do yeah. get motivation from and it. that's why I don't do it pr- to for force people to do that but I like people to see that. This guy, he's been at work all day. Yeah, and he's still at the gym. And then like, I put my kids to bed or my wife's put the, I've gone in and I've had tea with my girls, played with them for half an hour. I've got home from work at five, hot one night, like yeah. quarter to six normally on a good day. And I'm leaving for the gym for quarter to seven. So I have an hour with the kids and then they're going up to bed. I leave to meet my two gym partners. Still go to the gym. Then I'll come home and I'll write meal plans. And they, they see like, then when they go, I ain't got time. And you're mm. like, you no, know, what you've got is excuses. Yeah. And, this, <laughs> and they, they message like, I'm looking for inspiration. I hate the way I look, this, that, and the other. I'm like, you need to find that from within. Yeah. I, and mm. I can't, mm. there's, I can't give you inspiration. You need mm. to look in the mirror and go, I'm not happy with this. Or look in the mirror, I love this. Yeah. You need to decide, are you not happy? We'll do something about it. Yeah, you're yeah. showing it's possible. You know? Yeah. Mm. But I don't, I didn't do it for that reason. The reason yeah. I lost weight was to do a skydive. Yeah. Because I was really? too heavy. Was, really? Yeah, I wanted, wow. you had to be 100 kilos to do a tandem skydive, so it was a complete fluke. My brother's booked me it because I'm a bit of an adrenaline junkie. All three of us are. Well, two, me and my middle brother are. My eldest brother's a bit more, he's a bit smarter, he's a teacher. But we try and do something every year together, me yeah. and mum and brothers. And we were like, let's do a skydive. I'm like, Brave. Sam, let's do it. We'd, we're a bit divvy anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and then we looked at the actual requirements and we were all big lads at the time. And to do a tandem skydive, you've got to be 100, 100 kilos. And we're all like 115, all three of us. Mum's a dot, she's tiny, she's Sam. So I'm like, well, let's book it. We've never, ne- non, not f- neither no. of us, all three of us, never been able to lose weight. Because we've never been educated on a good diet. No. Not through mum and dad's fault, just they didn't know any better. Yeah. We had no money as a kid. You lived on whatever you got what from the shop. The yeah, like pasties, <laughs> yeah, some yeah. potato, whatever. And quantities were always growing lads. Yeah. Boom, boom. So we always grew up with big yeah. plates. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's how it was. 
So yeah. going into adult life, that obviously continues, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. You're eating big. I got a stage where I was drinking big, not like alcoholic, but I'd have a crate of beer on. Yeah. A f- literally, I'd have a crate of bud through co- Corona, uh, the coronavirus. Yeah, yeah. I'd have a crate of bud on three nights a week, yeah. three crates a week, just mm, boredom, yeah. finish work. Yeah. yeah. And I'd just sup them. I yeah. thought I knew that. I stood on the scale. I'm like 18, stone four. Yeah. I think. It's got out land. I'm in the sky there thinking about, fuck, I really want to do that. Just to prove to them boys, I'm not a big fan of arts, but no, I can not. put a brave face on. Mm. So to prove I can do it, I've got to lose this weight. <laughs> my, my middle brother is a boxer, so he shed the weight, weight easy. Oldest brother, he was like 0.3 of a kilo under on the day. <laughs> Me, I'd shot, I'd obviously got to the 100, coronavirus hit. No, yeah. it was somewhere in the middle, there's a gap. Um, so it got postponed. So I was right low. I got to like 78 kilo from 113. Wow. And then it got postponed. I'm like, shit, I, got I had no intention yeah. of keeping the weight yeah. off. I just wanted to lose the weight. And I thought, I, I didn't mind yeah. being fat. Never bothered me. Yeah. Always been known as fat boys. I'm yeah. the front of both my vans. <laughs> and yeah, then the corona, it got postponed. I thought, shit, I've got to stay skinny now. Yeah. And then it just became a habit. Mm. And then I found the bodybuilding and realized the benefits of lifting weights yeah. from my brain. Because yeah. I have this so much uncontrolled energy. Yeah. It's a, an hour and a half in the day. That I've got, I can't think about. It. Oh, it's because I'm yeah. straining. Yeah. I'm, I'm in the moment. Yeah, everything else it's I have to worry well about from it. gone. It's just my brain's occupied. Yeah, no matter what, I do get distracted sometimes. Like I'm very skitty. I'm like a Jack Russell or a cat with a laser sometimes. <laughs> Especially, or well, some days I'm worse than others. But in the gym, it's me, mm-hmm. my goals, and what's going on around me is it's not there. Some people say hello to me and mm-hmm. I don't even see them, and then they come through like, "You're right, mate," and you're like, "Sorry." Because you can't see them because I'm in that minute, that moment, and it just became obsession. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It did. It was, it, I'd urge anyone. Yeah. Does it put you in a better mood as well? Because they, it's true what they say about exercise. Because yeah. I always get, um, everybody says to me, why are you always running? I hate running, but I get such a good runner's high. And I'm, I struggle to switch off from work to home life. Yeah. And I am really bad for it. I do feel sorry for Ellie Blesser because... I'm thinking about work and I'm listening to, well, I'm not, I, you know, I'm, I'm like, yep. I'm not active listening. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm not. And I'm thinking about work. She knows now, like she, she pretty much figured it out. Think about working again, are you? What, you know, or what's wrong or whatever. And then you're like, yeah, we're just, it's just this thing. Yeah, and you, yeah. 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 And you can never switch up from it. I go for a run and I come back in such a better mood. Yep. And I'm a completely different person. And I imagine that's the same for you when you're it's, in the gym. It's true. You get not my mum, my mum and my, well, all three of them, marathon runners as well mm. now um are they really yeah they're, they're, not, they're not competitive but from being in my, my oldest brother tom he's you know, he told me how much he weighed just today 108 kilo he is yeah and he just did the mar- the um manchester marathon at 108 really? kilo he's just got the dog in him yeah. like he's a big boy he's yeah. not mm. overly muscular yeah. he's not toned he's not but he's got quads like tree trunks just because he's always played football. Yeah. And when he signed up for this Manchester Marathon, he's like, I'm going to lose weight, get fit up to it. His life's so busy. He's a teacher. He's got three young boys. And all three of us are active dads. Like, we're invested. Yeah. We're not just in and out. We don't dip in and out as parental, but we're invested. So he didn't find time to lose the weight. And the day come for this marathon. My middle brother is a boxer. He's fit as a fiddle. Like, he was a big boy, but now he's, a, he's skinnier than yeah. me. Um, but he's fit as a fiddle. And he is just, you'll never meet a man more driven than Ali. If there's a task to be done, that bloke is laser focused. And they ran this marathon, all three of them, mum, she's 54, my bit, my two brothers, they run this marathon, just two, well, Tom winged it, Ali trained, mum trained, and they all did it, smashed it, a marathon. No I don't know if you've done a marathon, have you? No, I I've only ever done a half. I had to actually do it, like in a race way, I just did it myself. I just yeah. thought, do you know what it is? I just went and did 5k, I was like, oh, nothing to do tonight, I'll keep going. Keep going. Oh, I'm at 10k now, oh, see if I can do 20. And yeah, just there was like, I'll stop at half a marathon. I've done a half a marathon. So yeah, that's but insane, it makes you it? feel amazing. It really does. It Can you comprehend a marathon? Because I know it's easy it's to say, crazy, what is it, 26 it? miles? Is it 20? Yeah. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it is now. It's a long way. Yeah. Whatever well, it isn't half marathon 21 kilometers like that? I don't know. I'd be lying if I said it. Yeah. I know it's I know, a I, long I, way. I, should we have a lot? Yeah, Google it. I feel like Joe Rogan again now. <laughs> Jamie. Is that his yeah, name? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Just Google this for us. Just pull that up. What's it's the, funny that podcast. What are you saying? Yeah, it's, yeah. He does have some really interesting guests every now and again, doesn't he? But there is a lot of it. Have you seen like all the AI fake videos from it now? They do it with a lot of them, I don't know. Yeah, forty kilometers. Yeah, twenty-five. Yeah, no, sorry, yeah, yeah, 
Uh, the length of an Olympic marathon was not precisely fixed at first, but the marathon races in the first few Olympic Games were about 40 kilometers, 25 miles. There you go. Tell you what, Jamie. I'm driving 25 miles, I get tired. Can you yeah. imagine running it? And it's not flat. No. It's. Have you seen them like they'll do it in under two hours? I know, mental. Like, I, like, I, I think I've got a really fast 5K and 10K now. And I saw there was a, I can't remember what it was, or a marathon or whatever, there was a race. Some like 13 year old lad did a five kilometers in like 15 minutes. What? 30, and he's tiny. He hadn't even got the stride. No. It's just like Sonic. Yeah. It is. It is and yeah. And then it makes me feel like, oh, well, loser. <laughs> well, you're not. This, this, no, yeah, this is like the uh, comparison of the FIFA yeah. Joy. And yeah. I've, yeah. I've always, I get it a lot. What can I do to look like you? Do not compare no, to mm. anybody. Yeah. Be the best Run version. Run your of you. own race. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't know what. Say, let's say, I, I don't know, like, say I want a car like yours. Mm. Well, I don't know what you've gone through to get that car. Uh, we've all got different lifestyles, haven't we? Like, you, you, we've all got different strains. Yeah. So don't try and be no, that person. like that person. Just yeah. be the best version of yourself. Yeah. And don't be try to be the best version in a week. Mm. Just try to be a little teeny bit better yeah. every single day. And before you know it, you look back and you think, I dreamt about that once. Mm. And now I've got that. Like I always wanted my own house, or from a kid. Or my own. I never. I've never had big goals. They always. You know, people say, "Aim for the stars." Yeah. Not me. I, I just want a simple life. Mm. Just keep chipping away. Achieve it myself. Yeah. Want to just do it for myself. And I always want my own house. And I just kept working and working and working and working, saving up the deposit with ta- on like crap money at the mm. time. And I got my own house, but I didn't appreciate it at the time. I got the keys, whatever. I already had a kid at the time. And I'm like, oh, I've always wanted three kids. I had two kids and then thought, fuck me, I don't want any kids. <laughs> <laughs> so we had two kids. I had this name. But I got the house and I look back now and I think, once upon a time you dreamt of this. Now you've got it. And now you've, what, you, and what's next? Yeah. Like, I'm always, I want this now. That was going to be one of my now. questions for you is like, you you got this fitness now and you're clearly obsessed with it because I can see the obsession because I relate that to what I'm like with my running now. It's like, I've started it. I've lost the weight. I feel fit. I love doing it. I think I'm good at it. Now, if I don't do it, I'm going to be like, oh. I'm going to regret. Yeah, exactly. So where where's, where do you stop? Where do you draw the line and go, do you know what? I'm, I'm hench enough now. I'm, I'm big enough now. I don't need to you know, I've got this, up again. I've then. got this goal of, um, I don't know why, just a round figure, 100 kilograms lean. Mm. So I'm bulking now. I'm 87 yeah. kilos. So I'm a bit fluffy. My goal in the next five years is to be 100 kilos lean weight. Yeah. No, like, sub 10% body fat. That's my goal. That's yeah. the goal. Um when I get there, it'll probably change it. That's the reality of it. Yeah. So, You'll be massive then. <laughs> yeah, because I'm quite sure. Yeah. I'm five foot nine, I'll be quite wide. But as a youngster, from being a big fat kid, yeah, I was never good at anything. No. I've never, I've never been exceptional at anything in my life. But I always used to look at the the muscle, the muscly bikers, you know, like the Hell's Angels yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I used to think they look so cool, like on the bikes, the big cannons on. Yeah. And I just love that vibe. But I want to be big, but I'm also like very, I'm a nice guy. I don't want to be intimidating big. It's going to be hard because I've got the tattoos and stuff. Yeah. But you don't have to speak to me to know. But I've just always looked at them and that size and that's what I want to be. Yeah. I just want to be a bit chunky. Just a, It's just a vibe. Yeah. And it's always good to, it doesn't matter what the goal is. If you're working towards something, and I will say it's, it's the journey getting there is actually sort of the more, the more yeah. enjoyable bit. Yeah. And then set yourself another goal. That's it. And yeah. you've got to continue to keep setting goals. But the one thing I've got to learn to do is be where my feet are. There's a saying, learn to be where your feet are. So we're in the moment. Yeah. Appreciate where we are right now. Like, yeah. let's say you're on holiday with the kids and you're on holiday and you're thinking, yeah, I've got this, this is good, but I've got that holiday in three months as well. No, just forget about yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Just enjoy what the you're doing sun now. and the kids are laughing yeah. and the, the ice cream. But I struggle with that. I struggle to mm. be where my feet are. Yeah. So it's where am I next? What's next? Yeah. What's next? Like I say, we're going back to circle back to the house. Got the house and I'm like, Phew. yeah. I want a newer car. You get the newer car and you're like, I want, I want that van. Yeah. Go get that van. And then you're like, still something missing. Mm. I want that newer bike. Oh, I've got that bike. I'm going to get another bike. It's just always. Yeah. You get bored easy. Yeah, it's not that. I just I can never just sit back and go. You did what you that. wanted to do. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm just more. chill out. It never happens. Mm. The moment's never yeah. coming. And no matter how hard I try, I can't sit yeah. on the sofa and go, yeah, I'm content. Well, that's a good mentality to have. One, for work, because you're going to need that in your in your line yeah. of work. And two, for the fitness. Yeah. You, that's exactly what you need. But the internal t- turmoil, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. never settled. No. Like no. you can never just take a breath and go, ah, yeah. well done, mate. My grandma I, oh, she always used to say to me, and at the time I was like, oh, what are you on about? She always just go, slow down and smell the flowers. And I'm like, Grandma, what are you on about? What does it even mean? What, do you even, what are you even talking about? Mm. But now I'm getting older, I'm like, yeah, I'm 28 now. My, my 20s are just flying by. And I'm like, well, my little brothers as well are 18 and 19. And he's almost 20. And I look back five minutes ago, I was you. Yeah. Don't mm. have a clue. Still have a clue, like but that. it just goes. Yeah. So you are right. You've just got to chill out, enjoy the moment and work towards something. And if, if you work hard enough, it'll happen. Yeah, that's yeah. it. And that's, if, if there's any youngsters listening, just keep putting one foot in front of the yeah. other. Just make sure that foot don't go backwards. Yeah. Mm. No matter how hard it is and how thick the mud is, just yeah. keep putting one foot in front of the other. And before you know it, you look back and go, shit, I achieved that. Mm. But if you quit, when you're in like, I've been in on breakdowns and I don't know what's wrong with this truck, but I don't want to ring recovery. Like it's the, it's the worst thing for a mechanic is to get some, for me. Yeah. I don't know if it's for every mechanic, you probably, probably just messed that mic up. Um, <laughs> I don't know if for any for me recovery is defeat. Yeah. If I have to ring the wrecker, sometimes you do like I say the diffs exploded. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But let's say, for use of example, I did it so just to make it relatable. I did a TikTok on a Scania. Didn't want very um, good one because I was so busy. It was like pissing down. But Scania, it wouldn't rev, so it just brought down just one of our trucks. It wouldn't rev. I come out to it. In my head, I'm thinking. I know the clutch packs are dodgy on these and I know the wiring's the clutch packs. So I went with an idea of what it could be. I had Delphi at the time. And uh, so I go with the, the diagnostics, load the van with tools, no parts, go there, plug it in, no fault codes. Mm. Standard for that thing. That Delphi was shite. <laughs> um, it's a no fault code. So I've got nothing to go off. But through the TikTok, I've built some relationships like with people who know better. Mm. So I ring a few geezers on the, on the Scania job. Check this. So I pull these bits off. No, that's sound. Check this. Pull these bits off. Yeah, that's that's bust. He's like, well, if you pull that off, these washers in there are going to be broke. But you need to like, you can do it on the roadside, but you're not going to get. And this is nine o'clock at night at this stage. So I'm thinking, what do I do? I've been here from three o'clock in the afternoon. The gearbox is in whole turret. The big gearbox is in bits. It's pissing down the rain. Drivers are lovely. Our drivers are mega. He's like. Making sure I'm dry and stuff. Oh, bless him. And uh, I think, well, if I ring Scania Assistance, I can tell them what it is yeah. and they can bring me the parts. So I ring them, I'm like, oh, I've got a truck, S series on the side of the road here. The washers are coming, what it's called, longitudinal shaft. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, longitudinal shaft. There's some washers in it and they crack. I've obviously learned this on the job. Scania techs will know straight away because they run it day and day out. I'm jack of all, master mm. or not. Um, so I ring a scanner and I say, can you bring me these washers? And he's like, uh, no, that's a recovery job. I was like, well, send the lad out. I think, I knew what it was. I think it's this, but I need you to come and diagnose it. Just send yeah. assistance out, but send these washers. So this kid comes out, he goes, I can't fix this here. It's dangerous. I was in the middle of a B road. Yeah. And I go, I don't need you to. I just need them bits I told you to bring. And he had them in pack here. I'm like, sweet. And he went, well, I can't leave without it being recovered or the job being finished. I went, you best stand there then, aren't you? Yeah. It's two hours later, I've got this gearbox in the bits, built back up, fire her up, bomb, she goes in gear. And I'm like, that's resilient. Yeah. That is me not quitting. It's yeah. one o'clock in the morning at this stage. We're piss sweat through. I've had no dinner. Mm. Just gr- just pig-headedness. I've stuck mm. at it, mm. figured it out. I've rang the people who I know might know. A few lead me up the muddy path. A few have pointed me in the right direction. I've pulled things. And we got to the bottom of it. And it's one of them just don't quit. Yeah. yeah. Just keep going. Yeah. yeah. And... I'll take that lesson to the grave. Like, yeah. If I ever had that problem again, I'm going to remember yeah. immediately. Scan your call out just for the washers. That's it, because I couldn't get them. Yeah. Nowhere was open. Yeah. Um, Keltruck, Newark, weren't open. Grimsby had shut. Everywhere had shut. The only way I could do it was the call out. Yeah. And they said, well, you're not going to be able to do that on the roadside. You can't do that. I, I was will. like, just bring them. <laughs> bring them and I'll do yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody else would have gone, well, whatever then. You recover it, do what you need to do yeah. to it. Yeah. I'd invest. Yeah. I'd already yeah. invested my time at this stage. I'd got it in bits and I thought, I ain't quitting. No. Mm. I am not quite this, this stage. Far. Yes, it's it. Gearbox is out. That's good. Yeah. The gearbox wasn't physically out, but the turret was off. Yeah. There was just bits everywhere. And I'm like, I found it. 
So what's the point in recurring it in now? I can, I'm only going to have to fix it in a workshop. Yeah. We're going to recur it to my workshop. <laughs> yeah. Ring the bits. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do it here. Yeah. He drove it home. Monday morning, she was on the road again. Bosh. Hey. Just because it didn't quit. And that's just one example of just keep going. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Is it harder to do the job? The job is close to impossible to do it without this Resource, sort of thing. Yeah. It, I would say it's How close to impossible. How are you getting on with Jaltis, by the way? I've not really actually spoke I, about... It's, I've been... Um, I do most of the brunt of my work Monday to Friday's trailers mm. so I program quite a few valves of it now um, oh, amazing I diagnosed well my apprentice who will let go actually today's his last day for various reasons but like uh, typical stuff like you can plug plug it in and uh, come up with sensor 1B I can't remember what the wording was but straight away it basically said air gap and I know he'd relined it so I know he'd not sensor but just stuff like that, it just yeah. throws you straight it just at it makes your life think, so much easier yeah, yeah it does and it you can't do the jobs without it now mm. obviously you can do brakes and mm. ball joints and but that's owner drivers do most of that stuff um, when it comes to a fault on the dash you can use the dash fault codes mm. but you need the equipment to clear it to code it to, yeah. you're almost a mechanic and a like a computer yeah. guy, whatever that word is. Yeah. You, you, you both jobs now. It's so multifaceted now. To be a technician, you do have to be an electrician. You've got to understand diagnostic computers. There's gone are the days where all you need is your spanner and your hammer and yeah. some goodwill. That's it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, some I, elbow grease. I always talk about this, but you you know, you, you can't put a component on a truck now without telling it you've done it. Yeah. You know, that, that's, 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 that's the difference, yeah. isn't it? You know? I hear it all the time. We get it all the time and I go, yeah, yeah. But it's true. You yeah. eventually you won't be able to change it. Well, sometimes you can't even change a light bulb without a reset or whatever, or a diagnostic yep. computer being plugged in. So. It's true. The, the, the way it's going, and I, I don't know if it was you was talking about, it's someone like Ivecos, they're even locking you boys out, aren't they? Yeah, secure gateways. But Jaltist is um, approved with Iveco for the secure gateways. So right. what you can do if you've got a jail test is if you guys run Iveco or work on Iveco, quick phone call to our technical support we'll send you an online form to do pretty sure that's how that works and we'll send that to Iveco and then your product your jail test is registered with Iveco and then you can do further so that's just to stop anybody going in but for me that's enough reason to tell my gaffer not to buy Iveco mm. if you want to lock us out of it keep your trucks yeah I'm not interested the yeah they're anyway. trying to keep the mono monopoly on it yeah, yeah. why the well, job's hard enough I think you've got to buy I think that's the best thing to do now is actually Focus what your your fleet is around what you're capable of fixing. That's the best yep. way of doing it. We yeah. all, I I don't have much. I, what I did say to our gaffer is, "Daff, scan your Volvo. Mm. Don't bring it out in here." I keep to toy him getting some MNs. I'm like, "Don't bother. No. Why? Stick to what we know." Yeah. Mm. Because the yeah. IV, because from my experience, they're terrible. Yeah. <laughs> they're just cheap for a reason. But when they're locking you out, stuff as if. It's not, the problem isn't that, yeah, they want the work themselves or they want to make sure people are competent work on them, but when their workshops are already stacked out and like, I can't do that job till next Friday, what are you locking us out of it for then? Mm. It's not like you can facilitate the repair, so why are you stopping us doing it? it makes no sense. Yeah, if you if your workshop's fully booked for three, four weeks, you can't yeah. fit it in, who's who's losing other than the fact that I can't fix the truck? That's it, we've got another truck stuff. Yeah. And what makes you think we're going to buy another one if we've had it, if let's say three months of a 12 month calendar yeah, year has been stud? because we couldn't get it fixed. Yeah. That's no good. No. That's not good business, is it? No. That's why we get a lot of... We have had, in the last few years, uh, OE workshops, OE parts uh, um, suppliers, sort of really start working with... We've been working with parts suppliers for many, many years now, but actually truck OEs, like Adams Maury Daff, for example, and Greenhouse Daff, who are actually selling gel test. Right. And they're doing it because, well, our customers have got multi-brand fleets, we're selling multi-brand parts. Maybe the workshops are fully bought. Yeah, stacked out. Well, you know, let's help the customers out. Let's provide That's them it. with a jar test and they can do the work. We're not losing out anyway. Yeah. They're still going to buy parts from you. Yeah, yeah exactly. Why, why would winning. we want our customers with our trucks in their yard that we can't repair for three weeks? That's yeah. it. So tell you what, let them buy a kit, let them yeah. do the basic work and then yeah. everyone's happy. Because yeah. what, a, a haulage, what a haulage owner wants is the trucks, the wheels turning. Yeah. If they've got an X amount of lorries stood because it can't, they can't get it in for whatever reason. What makes you think they're going to buy more lorries? Mm. It's not, it's not no. going to happen, is it? No, no, no that's it. No. So One thing I will say is so. like the um, apprenticeship thing for people who are looking to get in the trade, like the the attitude they bring when, yeah, for what 
uh, like an employer is looking for yeah is just a willingness to learn not not expecting you to know out or bring out to the table initially mm. but it'd be nice for like if, if they're looking for an apprenticeship when five o'clock comes just call in and go is there what else you want me to do before I leave or mm. never be stood still like the, the most frustrating thing is you you're running things. around like a like a, I'm not going to say the word but um, headless chicken and uh, they're God. stood there like there's nothing to do well, there's crap all over the floor. Like, just use some initiative. Yeah. Some I've really struggled to find is kids with initiative. Yeah. And I've had, I had apprentice, apprentice. Do they though? Because I remember when I was, it's the, you're caught in this, I'm too nervous to just do it myself. I don't have the, what is it? Competently incompetent. You're incom. You're incompetently incompetent. Yeah. You don't know that you haven't got a clue. Yeah. And it's this, you're nervous to, Oh, I, I probably should do that, but I don't know whether I'm not, I'm going to get a click round the ear roll for doing it or a pat on the back. Yeah. And, uh, cause I, I remember f- for me having an initiative when I was a kid to just do something, I was sort of like scared. I, I have it with my little brothers now. I'm like, why didn't you just do it? Well, I don't know. Scared it's yeah. going to backfire. Yeah. 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 I, I understand that bit. Yeah. You well, got your work on. Yeah. Like just, just like have, have a bit of, Bring a bit of energy. Yeah. So I, the last yeah. three apprentices I've had, they make walking hot, look hard. Like just to pick the feet up off the floor. They make it look like that's mm. a task in itself. Like there's no energy. There just seems to be no energy. It's not just think that, that is in general, kids in, in general. These aren't even kids. They're like 18, 19 mm. year old lads and they're coming. The, you want, I want a lad who's just straight out of school. Yeah. It's for a glass, whatever whatever I could get to be honest um, fresh out of school moldable um, polite yeah and just willing don't need you to have any mechanical background knowledge at all just a willingness and an interest to learn because it's going to take you a long way but when you're coming in the job because it's what your college has told you mm. that's going to fit the bill that's going to fit your qualifications but your heart's not there yeah. Don't do it. No, you keep your lying to yeah. yourself. You are, and you're going to get five years down the line and realize I've wasted five years mm. of my life here. Mm. I, I don't like this. Well, that's half the trouble, isn't it? In school, we don't learn about business. We don't, and we've talked about this many a time. Algebra and there's trigonometry. The, and yeah, all. there's no teaching of this in no, school. And so I think that what needs to happen is in school, you know, an hour, two hours a week of this is business, this is what you need to experience, you know, this is what to do. Yeah. Um, but Unfortunately, there's, there, there isn't that. This I is a topic they, I could talk all day on, uh, yeah, getting yeah. too political. And mm. They teach you to be workarounds, don't they? That's yeah. what the school system yeah. does. They teach you to be able to socialise, be wholesome humans, basically. Yeah. Don't kill each other. Please mm. and thank you. So. But we need our cleaners mm. and we need the bin men yeah. and we need the mechanics and we need the electricians. We don't need businessmen. That's what private school's for. And that's the reality of state school is they're teaching you to be just a person in society yeah. to do the jobs that... That's it. They don't want you to be too good. Do you know, mm-hmm. I, I did private school and and I did state school. And I did... It was hard to be honest with you because I did private school pretty much early age up until the last couple of years. And then you get chucked into a state school, secondary school. Is that just for like... Social, social. Uh, well, I, to be uh, to be honest, I was in, I was in private school, and then I, we moved. Couldn't get into the private school near me, and well, all my mates go to this school, so that's where you go. And I'll be honest, I think the only thing I can say I've taken from private school, me personally, and other people might disagree with this, but just you, you get a little bit more of this is how you, you speak to people, this is how you address people, this is you know you, you get a little bit more of that, and um, and how to talk properly formally or whatever yeah when you're at work even though i don't feel like i'm a formal speaker in, in a way but i don't think that you i don't and, and i did business studies as well i can tell you now everything i learned in business studies none of it's helped me at all none of it's i can't even remember any of it i can't even cool remember any of it yeah. none of it i did it at college and i did it at school the fact of the matter is if the if the teacher teaching you business studies was actually good at what they were talking about they mm. wouldn't be a teacher no they'd be they'd be running a multi-million pound business yeah well, so they're teaching you something out of a textbook mm. which is 
and I can't focus on that anyway. I, I really struggle with stuff like that. If you're just talking at me, I'm going to really struggle to take that in. Yep. Well, I'm going to struggle to even be interested enough to, to take it in the first place anyway, but then actually to turn it into, right, that's what I've got to do then. I'm going to, I'm going to struggle to do that anyway, but, but yeah, that's one, yeah, that's one thing I was going to say is private school and secondary. And it's, isn't what, what's the saying? It's, it's all in the kid. It's all, it's, you know, it's not about the school. It's actually about the kid out of the school as well. Mm, right. Um, and it's how you apply yourself. Yeah. It's and like early in life, like, isn't it? I don't think being at a private school or a secondary school for me personally would have made any difference in whether or not I was going to do well in life or well on my exams. Yeah. You get out of it what you put it's in. Hard it's hard to... It was a long, that was my long-winded uh, yeah, <laughs> answer it. to Ben. It's hard to get out of that as a kid though, isn't it? Do you know when yeah. you're a kid and you're yeah. full of testosterone and yeah. Yeah. you can't comprehend what adults are telling you? Like You need yeah. to focus now. It's the important times you have. Baby like, steps. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, what do you know? I just want to drink this energy drink yeah. and yeah. play football. Yeah. That's you don't you don't think, and then yeah. you get older, you think, oh my god, what, yeah. what was I why doing? did why didn't I try out of there, mm. or why yeah. didn't I grab that opportunity when that presented itself? Yeah. Hindsight is a wonderful thing. I say it all the time in my videos. Hindsight is a wonderful thing. If we knew what we knew now, we wouldn't have made half the mistakes in life, would we? No, we'd all be millionaires. We knew the lottery numbers. We'd, yeah, of course. But yeah, te teaching young kids, you can tell your own kids to your blue in the face how to act. They ain't interested. The kids aren't. Mm. They're, they're gonna do what kids do. Shut up, man. Get back on Fortnite. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. it. Like, yeah. This is more interesting than what you're yeah. talking about, Dad. Yeah, get out of my face. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can tell. Even when I, I mean, you know, my, I keep going back to my little brothers, but you tell them something in one ear, out the other. Yep. Yeah, I'm a prime example of that. Like yeah. the old boys when I first started, but like, don't lay on the cold floor. Get my mm. back. Guess what I've got now. I'm back. Yeah, I've got two ruptured discs from lifting just yeah. heavy stuff that you shouldn't like, lift for your knees you're like shut up yeah Oof, and then yeah. nearly yeah. 30 year old my back shot and you think <laughs> if I had just listened yeah. I won't be in all this discomfort now or they just they tell you stuff which is true but at the time you're so ignorant because yeah. you're young and you you just you better. just think you know better don't you do yeah. you always do I don't think yeah. that ever changes though does it as a bloke no like someone tells you no. something and you think well there you go we're putting it out there basically back to your point though you need an apprentice, someone straight out of school Fresh who's out watching the box. this, who genuinely wants it. Maybe someone who's actually watching this, you might find somebody's at genuinely interested awesome. in. And I do, ideal candidate, right? Motocross background, because they're mechanically minded normally. And you've got a moped, because the last three apprentices we've had, we've had to fetch and carry and all. Uh, which is annoying. There's no yeah. like, there's no get up and go. Like, yeah. I, my first job, I had a moped, 16 year old. I rid there. I had. Uh, I can't remember how far the commute was, but I got there every day on yeah. time. It was just that showing up on time was the first tick of the day. Like you gaffers, yep. like he got here on time. Mm -hmm. It's minus four. It's hell. It's, <laughs> it's literally visors frozen short, and yeah. he's still here. Yeah. This boy's got some grit. Yeah, that's what I want. It's yeah. not going to happen. No, to be honest, it's not going to happen. But if I had a kid like that, I would nurture them yeah. to be the best I could yeah. make them. I'd give them every ounce of knowledge yeah. I've got. All your time. Yeah, but when you've got someone who you're talking to, and you're like talking them through an intricate job, and you can see their minds wandered, you're just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Just uh, just go and fit that airbag. Yeah. Like if you're not interested, never mind. Yeah, I can't fake it. Like if you're yeah. interested, you go every ounce of me. Yeah. If you're not, just sweep up around there, mate. Yeah. Just do that. Just yeah, put yeah. the kettle on. We'll have a cup of tea. Like you're gonna get all the shit if you're not interested. Let's mm. be honest. Yeah. You get annoyed if they ask you questions. Like if they ask you too many questions. No, I've never had it. Yeah. I've never had an apprentice. Mm. I was that apprentice. Right. So I had a geezer called Kev who taught me. He was a Scania Master Tech. Um, then he came to work for the independent the little farm garage I worked at, and I was so annoying. Because I have, I'm so inquisitive. If it's something I'm interested, if I'm not interested, I'm not. We're not engaging in conversation. But if you've got something I want to know something about, I'm annoying. I'm, t I'm asking. I'm asking. And he always used to look at me like, "You just shut up." <laughs> and I used to get to the point where like, I'd, I'd, I'd have a question. I'd go, "No." Yeah. I'd do it. But I've never had an apprentice like that. Yeah. That's been. Why are you doing that? Well, that's cool. Why does it work like that? I've never had it. Yeah, there's. N I've never had one that's yeah. genuinely interested. Yeah. But I bet you're pleased you did that now, back in the day. Because, I am. You know, you wouldn't have, you know, found out these little, you know, little bits of information. And it, those are so many lads that at the time that I used to think, oh, he's a dickhead. Why is he so mardy with me all the time? Mm. But now I can't thank them enough for the energy they put in. Yeah. Because they had, they didn't get paid any extra to teach this to you. They didn't get. 
They didn't get anything out of it, but they'd stand there some days and they don't know what's going on in their home life or whatever, but they'd stand there and they'd talk you for a job, even though they just wanted to get on and get the brew and have a fag or whatever. Mm -hmm. They'd stand there and they'd go, yeah, we're doing it because this, this, and this. And they give you that minute. They just give you a minute. And then that's now paying for my mm -hmm. two kids to eat and it's paying for my house. Just the bits and nuggets of information they get me has created my life yeah. because they gave me their time. That's mainly the reason I do the TikToks is because I feel like there needs to be a community. Mm. It'd be nice if there was more of a a community to share these little nuggets of information, you know, because we can't all know everything about yeah. everything. It's impossible to store it. So if you've got, I don't know, you've got a fault on a high note, you've never worked on a high note before. It'd be nice to know a guy who might have, and you can message yeah. him, like have like a some form of relationship with these people and i think that's why social media is amazing yeah it's powerful for that powerful. really powerful for that the um i think the industry in general is quite good at oh any scan you but i see it all the time in the facebook forums i've got this fault is there any scan you boys in here who who've had this before you can't beat that yep you can't beat that you can't and i think it's you get a lot of people with social media is crap i'm not on it because yeah. it's so toxic and like you don't know how to navigate it mate. No. Like, i i think social media is amazing yeah like for me I know how to navigate. I know if you post a picture of your you and your missus on the beach with the cocktail. I know that's not your life. Mm. That's a snapshot of your life. Yeah. I can read that. Yeah. Some people go, it's only the highlights. Yeah. Yeah. Get used to it. Yeah. Like, that's just what Instagram is. Let's yeah, say yeah. that as a Yeah. But you need to learn that we all do that. Like mm. we put the highlights on. You don't see the nights I get yeah. home and I feel like fucking you know, everything's gone wrong today. Yeah, that's it. He's done my head in, that's gone wrong. I want more of that. I want less of you don't see that on no. it, but you know that like, everyone's going through it. Mm. Like you might post your new car, mm. but you don't know how much the payment is. No, no. You, they've, they've dropped you don't a thirty know what they grand were deposit, before. and yeah, yeah there are eyeballs in debt. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, and this is and actually as well, it keeps people going, doesn't it? They see them in the new car, I think, oh, you know what? Yeah, I, I want one of them. I'm going to strive for that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But that's yeah. when it's toxic for some people because they'll. That's why I say never compare to anyone. Run your own race. I all, I've always run my own races. I'll never try and keep up with the Joneses. That's the mm. saying, isn't it? I've always had my own aspirations and goals and I shoot towards them. I'll never look at what you've got and go, I want a bit of that. Yeah. Because you don't know, you're just seeing the shiny golden casing. Yeah. You're not seeing what's happened to inside that. It, mm. Yeah, the, the social media, you've got to learn to navigate it properly. I've got people in my family who, I've got rid of it because I'm scrolling too long. I'm like, well, that's a you problem. Yeah. And then they're like, you, you're always on Instagram. You're like, yeah, I am. I am, yeah. I'm what? It's, yeah. it's a positive thing for me. Like, because I've got, I've put questions on my Instagram, like truck related. And I've had inboxes like, oh, it's this, mate. Sweet. Thank you. Yeah, that'll do, Use mate. Use it to your advantage. That's absolutely, yeah. 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 And that's people it. need to learn to do that. Yeah. And I get It's a, a tool. It is a tool. And if you don't know how to navigate and you are using it just as a consumer, like, looking at everyone posting the highlight reels, you're going to get down. Yeah. But you need to learn to know what's real and what's not. Mm -hmm. I know your life in always Dubai. No. On the Taj Mahal, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know that's not that's not 100% of your life. That's no. You've saved for nine months yeah. to pay for that yeah. three-day trip. That's yeah. it. That's yeah. the reality of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some people don't so. get it, do they? No, no, no. Yeah, that's the, that's the toxic side of social media until you understand that. But I love them. I love it. I love TikTok. I don't do Facebook. Facebook is toxic. Yeah, Facebook's Facebook's a weird one now, isn't it? I never use it. Uh, I, I, I only I use. In fact, I'm never really logged into it. I only use the work one, really. To be honest with you, um, I've got a work profile, so it's the only reason I use Facebook. Mm. I don't have it. Myself. Facebook's for mums and dads now. It, I yeah, you what I'm about. I am. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> like our mums and dads. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's always everything. I had Facebook for years. Like I, I haven't deleted it, but I haven't used it for about five years. Although I've noticed when I do a post on Instagram, it automatically loads it to my Facebook because uh, I get messages yeah. like, you oh, didn't yeah, message yeah. me yeah. back. I'm yeah. like, I didn't know it, did it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Switch that off. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, every so often you get that negative comment and as much as people say, ignore the haters, you're like, you can't. can't. Some days it gets in your head. Mm, yeah. You're like, you bitch. Mm, mm. Some of them geezers like, why are you doing it that way? And you're thinking, why did I do it that way? And then you doubt yourself. Yeah, and you think, yeah. Just ignore the negative comments. I can't all the time. Yeah. I'm not yeah. lying to you. Sometimes yeah. I do my edit. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It feels better when you've gone back with a response. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. When I get you back, and I'm going to block you because <laughs> yeah. we're not doing this again. No. <laughs> yeah, you. Uh, I don't like Facebook. No. Instagram. TikTok's great for the reach because 
if you've got something to advertise and you know how yeah. to do it, TikTok's reach is phenomenal. Yeah, it's mm. scary actually. Instagram's playing games at the minute. You can have 5,000 followers and you've stiff only gets 1,000 views. You're mm. like, yeah, we well, were having this conversation. Who, I swear, like some big celebrities came out about Instagram, the fact that. You don't see anything of that. Well, you don't, to be fair. You, you only have to. You don't see anything of your followers or your friends, your family. And we were saying this, weren't we? You, you'll, but you'll see. I don't know. I'm trying to think of some celebrities. Yeah. yeah. Or, like suggested. Posts. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Or, yeah. or or I'll get like yeah, tra- like traveling photos. Like yeah. I'll get Thinking, somebody's. I, yeah, and I'm like, how is that even not interesting? Yeah, yeah. you follow, follow them. who you want to follow because yeah. you want to see their stuff. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And you people Musical get upset with you like. <laughs> Yeah. You have your close friends and that, don't you? And I don't follow loads of people on Instagram, but I miss like even my wife's posts. Mm. I was saying to you before we started. Yeah. Didn't even know they did. Like you've you you just search her. Like yeah. just, oh, just search her name, even though you sat next to her. <laughs> She's done three posts, I ain't yeah. seen any of them. Yeah. They're my kids, why have I not? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. then you're seeing, I don't know, some some bird in a bikini promoting yeah. her only fans and that's yeah. on your feed, you're like, why is that there in my wife's yeah. post? Yeah, yeah. 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 So the Instagram, I don't know what's gone off of it, but yeah, you, you can have 100,000 followers, but your reel only gets 600 views. Yeah. Don't get this. This is it's not, it's not stacking up. Why, is these, why are my followers not seeing me? Yeah. That's why TikTok is 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 actually more popular now. It is. TikTok's you know? so much better. But then TikTok, I find, is a fast burner. So mm. you can put a video on and it'll have a 24-hour window and then they seem to shut it down. Mm-hmm. Some will bounce up again, but... I'll, if I do a TikTok, I know for 24 hours it'll send it. It'll just yeah. the numbers will run up and then it'll just stop. Yeah, just they just chuck it in the bin again and just put you at the bottom of the pile. And then randomly, if someone comments that it, it might spike it again for a little bit, but predominantly it's such a short burner. Mm. And you so you got to post almost every day if you want to stay relevant on yeah. TikTok. Yeah, but yeah, then consistency. They always say that, don't they? It's yeah, got to be consistent with it. I'm really inconsistent. Yeah. With it. I use I use LinkedIn quite a lot for work, and um, that's somewhere where you have to be consistent. Mm. It's just getting the time to do it. What, what's LinkedIn then? I don't know. LinkedIn's like it's a business Facebook, Facebook for business. Basically. I suppose. Yeah, it's really good. But so, it, what you promote? Who you promoting to? I suppose on there, I've got like truck, truck techs, plant managers, transport managers. Yeah, you got yeah. connections rather yeah. than friends. You've got connections. It's more business platform orientated, yeah. as opposed to a personal platform. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. But yeah. then every now and again, a personal. Posts will do well, but it is mainly sort of business focused. So you what you can reach people who you don't even follow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Never even know. Yeah, yeah. It works pretty much this well, very it, similar to Facebook. Well, it works how Facebook used to work. So such and such likes this, and that way all of their friends will see that. Yeah. Then. Oh, okay. So you can go out to a lot of bigger sort of reach audiences. Yeah. 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 People used to use it as more of like a job. They post jobs on there. Yeah. Awesome. It was definitely a record yeah. recruitment platform. Yeah. That's what I thought it was. Yeah. yeah. I thought you'd. I thought I personally thought it was somewhere if you was looking for a job. Mm. Yeah. I think but, that's what some like people. But it's yeah. kind of evolving more into. It's kind of massive. Like, if you're in recruitment, you've got LinkedIn. Mm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm not the business man. Yeah. One day I will be. Like I've said many many times, I've been asked, "Why don't you run your own show?" Mm. I know I'm, I've got my own business. I've got a holiday letting company, two static units with hot tubs and decking and stuff. And they're like a passive income. My wife runs them. I set them up for her because she wanted to get back to work, but we wanted it to work around the kids' school and stuff. So I set that business up. That was a huge investment. I sold my dream truck to start. I had a Dodge Ram, which I always wanted one. Sold that for that investment, but I can't remember where I was going with it. Where was I going with the conversation? Do you want to start a company? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, like the truck side of stuff, thanks. Um, <laughs> I know what it takes to be a self-employed truck mechanic because I'm essentially that now. Mm. I'm not because I don't have the bills, but I run a workshop. Mm. I am the sole, I order the parts, I fix the trucks. I organize when they're coming back. I have to liaise with part, like everybody. I have to, and the hours it takes, if I was to have my name above the door, I know I would never say no. I've never been able to say no. So if someone rang me on a Friday night, can you come and look at this? Yeah. And at what stage do you then go, now I'm not seeing my family? Because I know mm. that's what it takes to get a yeah. startup company. To start mm. up company. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to look at Jack. Yeah. And he's working until three o'clock in the morning. Try to do that with two young babies. It's mm. Yeah, it's, it's great. You'd have a load of dough, but mm. you're going to look back and when they're 15 year old and go, I missed all that. Mm. I'm not. I'm not in the place to do that right now. He's a machine, dude. We said this, but when he came here, he was the night before. He was up to like four in the morning. He didn't get yeah. home until four. 
and he got a couple of hours sleep and he was putting on his Instagram story at like half six, seven o'clock in the morning he's in the gym yep. and then he comes here like, and, it, and it did he did look tired he no did doubt, he looked but exhausted actually, yeah. but he just just he just gets on with it and out. when he finished yeah. here guess what went on to another job he's got a goal and he'll yep. I have absolutely no doubt in my mind he'll achieve mm. it and mm. he's got that attack mentality he's got that um, he will, you'll get to a point with him where he will burn out like he'll you'll see he'll probably have to have a few days off because yeah. I do it myself I'll push my body to a limit you're on the red line for three four weeks yeah. and then your body goes and then you get ill I've had enough of your shit yeah and if you get the flu or summer gives summer yeah. always gives when you push yourself to it you get these motivational speakers that are like get up at 3am and yeah. do this and you're, like, Goggins. Yeah. you're not rolling under a truck for 10 hours <laughs> yeah. and then yeah. running a marathon yeah your yeah. job is Make Instagram <laughs> and then and do a marathon yeah. after you've made posts on Instagram it's different man yeah, yeah. yeah. you have to read you see, yeah. I love, I'm a sucker for motivational speakers yeah. Yeah. sucker but I, I like let's say David Goggins like I don't know what his day job is no but I'm assuming it's not 10 hour base like ours is no and then he's going for a you don't know me son run yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sure I'm yeah. sure his job now is social media yeah. so yeah mm-hmm. you've got the time yeah. to just run yeah. I'm not saying it's easy obviously it's mm-hmm. not he's an absolute he's a monster yeah. monster but you don't think you're juggling like like I've got I'm gonna go for a 40 mile run well, for me and you, I've got for a 40 mile run. Oh, right. Where's the money coming from to pay the mortgage? Yeah. yeah. I, I need to actually go to work yeah. somewhere. It's got to be realistic. Yeah, yeah. your goals yeah. have got to be realistic. Yeah. Don't look at these people yeah. and go, yeah. I'm a waste of space. Yeah. yeah. I'm shit at life. Yeah. No, mate, you have different stresses and strains. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a bit real. silly. Like, I see videos where they're going on about how David Goggins carried on running a 40 mile run with a broken ankle or something. It's like, just because he had to finish. That's that is dog. Like you, yeah. he's got a dog in him, obviously. But for me and you, if I broke my foot, I'm thinking, well, oh, that's three months well, out of work now. Lincoln A and E. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, that's just not normal, is it? But then that—that's the thing with like Instagram. The, stupi- the things that pop up on your feed are the elites of the world, yeah. aren't they? So you see the guys with the. 720 McLaren, and mm. they're the elites. That's why they've got so many followers. Don't compare yourself to them. No. They're the one percent. Like, yeah, it's achievable. Yeah. But really. Is it achievable? Mm. It's a lottery, isn't it? Yeah. Don't compare your life to that. No. Because you're just setting yourself up for a hard yeah. fall, man. Yeah. Be comfortable with what you got and yeah. just try to be a little bit better every day. Yeah. Don't set your goals. Be realistic. Yeah, don't be like too subdued, whatever mm. the word is, but don't, don't say, oh, I'm going to have a Ferrari by 30. Because, mm. sorry, mate. If you don't. Yeah. And that's not a goal anyway. You, that's you not set a goal. yourself up not for, for, me, for disappointment. You know? Absolutely, you yeah. might achieve it you, yeah. if great. you do. Absolutely fair play. Mm. For the most most of us, be more realistic. Like, yeah, I just want to get an house, like yeah. three bed semi or whatever. Be realistic. Yeah. Like, set your goals. And how are you going to do it? That's what you need. A goal you need a plan. You do it. Yeah, you need a plan. Yes. If you ain't got yeah. a plan, it's just a dream. Yeah, and yeah, people go, I want uh, with a weight loss because yeah. it's relatable to me. I want to lose five stone, just don't know how to do it. You need to figure out how to do it then, don't you? Like, it's all right saying it. But like, what's, your pl- what's the plan? Yeah. I don't know. Mm. Right, okay, well, I can tell you what you need to do. And then you tell them, they're like, well, that's not living, is it? Mm. You're like, well, which, which, what? you need to pick a lane. Like, do you want to achieve your goals or do you want to eat Krispy Kremes? You need yeah. to decide. Yeah. The latter. My dad, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, um, my dad always used to say, and to be fair, I, I even say it now, fail to prepare, prepare to fail. Yeah. Yeah, it's so true. People yeah. just don't want to work for it; like they just want no. results. Exactly. That's human. That's human nature, though. You, you would, mm. you're just gonna want it and want it now. But yeah, it's that's, gonna be hard work. Like, yeah, it's not gonna be easy. But like, that's part. Of, that's why. Like you, it's gotta cost something. Obviously. That's it. Yeah. Everything you pick up in life, the, the say you, let's say you want the six pack, you're gonna have to drop some out. So I'm gonna pick up this goal. You're gonna have to let some out slide, whether that be your Thursday night on the Xbox or you've got a trade stuff yeah, off you've got sacrifice you have and people don't get that well, mm-hmm. I, I want a Chinese on a Friday night with my wife but I want abs for my lad's holiday you're like it's not going to happen mate you've got to pick a lane and they don't like hearing it that's the harsh yeah. truth mm-hmm. unless you're going to do shits on the cardio you probably can do both but no one likes cardio you do you like cardio don't you yeah I do actually yeah do you know what it is for me I'm a, I am a bit of a weirdo when I run we like you know, if I see like a, a a dog walk I'm like half a mile ahead Catch I've got to get past him and I've got to go past him <laughs> not, not breathing <laughs> mouth closed monster in it <laughs> and then I've got to get past them so far they don't see me anymore and then I go <gasps> yeah or I'll be I'll, I don't know I'll be running down a promenade at the beach or whatever 
And again, I see another runner, my lad. And get that right. guy. Do you tell the story about, oh, about London? the worst. Right, so there's this guy. Prop, he obviously was a good runner. He's obviously a good runner. And um, I could see him ahead. And I was like, right, I'm going to get him. And I was chasing him for ages. Honestly, I'd gone well past my 5K and I'm still going, I'm still going. Finally get to him. About to overtake him. He crosses the road, turns right. Different oh. way I was going. I was fuming. I would ruin the rest of my run. He was all coming with you. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know what. But it, to be fair, it does help me in a way. Because I'm like, again, it's like, a, I'm not just going for a run for the sake of it. I'm going for a run. Like you say, you get better every day. Yep. I am trying to go, right, I'm going to smash that time. Yeah. Or I'm going to, you know, do it with less effort today. You've got to have a goal, haven't you? Yeah. Otherwise, you, well, what's the saying? The same actions get the same results. Or yeah. Not. If you're not, you've got to try and be a little bit better with that. Be take over that guy or yeah. get an extra yeah. kilometre. Yeah. Or well, pull why up am that I racing a dog walker? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's it. Because it's a it could, because it's realistic uh, goal. It's yeah. ambition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. yeah. 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 <laughs> But holding your breath's a bit weird. Yeah, yeah, literally, yeah, yeah. I do. do it did pass out. Obviously, as you can tell, I don't do many upper body exercises, but I do have this weird thing of when I am doing upper body exercises or calisthenics, I'm holding my breath. I do the same. I can't stop doing it. And now, so I have this conscious thing now when I'm doing calisthenics of trying to breathe. Yeah. I just can't. You I, get a lot more out of the set if you do breathe, but I'm on, on leg day, I'm the same. And yeah. then a lass come up to me, she's like, you don't breathe. And I was like, I know. <laughs> so when I stand up on that, that's what I'm on the floor. Just breathe, yeah. man. I can't help it. I'm just yeah. trying not to fold. Yeah. And I'm like holding breath, and then it makes it so much harder. It does. And then you stand up, you're like, Ooh. yeah. What's yeah. that? <laughs> yeah, literally. And then you've got to take a break in between the next reps or whatever, because not because they were out, but because you're, you're your out of brain's breath. got no oxygen. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm the same, and I can't out train it. I can't. You're just in the moment, aren't you? Yeah. Push it and then, oh, fucking hell. Yeah. What's yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. It's not just you. No, no, no. The running, though, I can't go on. I did a uh, Tough Mudder this a couple of months, a month ago. I've never ran in my life. No. Like, it's never been a me thing, just because I'm, I've always been work smart and hard. So I'm borderline lazy, I describe myself. I work hard, but when it comes to, like, running or washing the dishes, that ain't for me. Like, no. It's a bit too boring. I had, but I did this Tough Mudder because it was summer. I always said to myself, you know we had to run. Yeah. You're just not built to run. But when I would lost the weight, I've realised that my only limitations are my brain. Yeah. So I booked this Tough Mudder because I thought, well, I've smashed that and that and that and that. And over the last couple of years, I'm pretty certain I can Who says that. I can't do that? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I ran the whole 50, I did the biggest one, the 15 kilometres. And it's, um, it was Yorkshire, so it's really hilly. It's the set, we I ran up the equivalent of the highest mountain in the UK. Uh, yeah, UK, I can't remember which one it's called. The tallest mountain, we run up the equivalent elevation. So I ran 15 kilometers pretty much uphill. Mm. And I got to the end, other than these muscles fully cramped because I had not practiced, not prepped yeah. properly. I had done a bit of jogging, but I did the whole thing. And I got to the end and my brother, the marathon runners, I, I outran them. Yeah. Obviously I was a lot better on all the swings and stuff because I have a bit more upper body strength. I got to the end and I thought, never in my life I thought I'd be able to do that. Yeah. You've done and it. I did it and I thought, what's next? Yeah. Like what what else are you capable of, yeah, son? Yeah. Like what I don't know, like I haven't booked another one, but I just know now from the last few years that anything I genuinely set my mind to. You can do it. Not goals you set me. You could say, I bet you can't run a marathon. That's not my goal. No. It's just something you're go to me. And yeah. my interest's not there. If I set myself a goal, I know now. The only thing that's going to stop me is that because mm. my body's more than capable. Yeah. It's just me telling myself I can't. So I don't tell myself I can't anymore. Do you not, because your job is, it's very physical, it's very strenuous. Do you not get days where you've hurt yourself at work and you're like, oh, I can't go to the gym or even just your body's telling you. Yeah. Can't the, the, the gym. The, every, every day. Yeah. <laughs> if I have a bad, like a long day in the workshop where nothing's gone right, because there is days you get like, yeah. like you just can't go right. And I get home at night, I have my tea, my eyes are literally rolling in my head. They're the days I go, get up. Yeah. And I go anyway. And you don't have the best session, but it's still a better than no session. Mm. And I show up every time, even when I really can't be bothered. I went to the gym this morning because today's a busy day and I want to have a film night with. So I was at the gym at 20 past six this morning just because it's just the discipline of doing shit you don't want to do. Yeah. People think, I do love the gym. But do you think I wake up in the morning and I think, ah, I can't wait, yeah, no, do I fuck? No. I want to sit in the kitchen and yeah. eat food and drink coffee. Yeah. But no, it's the discipline of doing stuff you don't want to do, then the rest of life's a little bit easier. Yeah. 
because you've already punished yourself. Mm. It's like leg day, everyone skips leg day. I absolutely abuse leg day. My legs are my strongest muscle. Most of the lads in the gym can bench 160, but they can't squat 100. No. And you're like, no wonder your chest is strong. You used to do three chest sessions a week with no legs. Yeah. For me, I'm hack squatting 200 at 80 kilos and not strong in comparison to strong men, but I mutilate my legs. And I, what I always say to people in the gym, because there's a lot of lads in the gym who struggle, struggle with mental health. And like they come to me for checks, they always say, you're always smiling. And I'm like, yeah, I'm trying my best. And I always say, I come in the gym and I create my own problems. Because if I create my own problems, I ain't got time for any others. Mm. Uh, the gym for me is me creating my own bullshit. Yeah. Because then I ain't got the energy for your bullshit. <laughs> now, when people come to you with like, why are you doing that? They say, I ain't got the energy for that. No. I've already decimated myself this morning. Like, say what you're going to say. Yeah. I can't be bothered to listen to it. <laughs> Just because I create my own problems, your problems don't matter to me. No. And that's why the gym is so important for me. Mm. Create my own pain. No one else can then. No. And it's good for the brain. It's really good for the yeah. brain. Yeah, oh no, I agree with that. Get rid of all that, that negative energy. Because yeah. every man has it. I don't it's confidence as well though. When you when you feel like you look good, yeah. you, you're, again, you're a different person. You are. You're a totally different person. But though, even the posts on Instagram, obviously I post my physique pictures. Every time I post, I'm cringing, like, yeah, because I know it's so like, I I know there's so many people. Bodybuilding is a like it's the what style I train. I'm not a bodybuilder, and I have no intention of competing. Um, but that's the style of training I do. So I eat like a bodybuilder, and I train like a bodybuilder, reps and stuff. But the bodybuilding scene gets so much hate because it's vain. Mm. But the only people that hate on the bodybuilding scene are the ones that want to look like bodybuilders but don't want to do the work. Yeah. It's not that they think you look. You, uh, you, yeah. yeah, they just don't want to do the work, so they hate on it. They're like, yeah. well, you're pumping yourself of all this stuff and this, that. if that's what you're down to, you're yeah. like, try it, you still want the same. Yeah. Without the work. Yeah, like, this you'd... whole dad bod craze thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what yeah. your missus is telling you to make yeah. you feel better. <laughs> yeah. But I can yeah. tell you from experience, <laughs> yeah. I've been with the same girl since I was 17. Mm. My best mate. She's the most wonderful human in the world. Like My wife is my best mate. And when I was a big lad, she loved me. Regardless. Regardless. Like yeah. She just loves every inch of me. And I lost the weight. She loved me the same. No different. But the amount of women that approach me now is insane. Even when I'm on holiday with them, I get I get wolf whistled like, from abroad. I've got my two daughters two yeah. steps behind. My wife's holding their hands. I'm still getting heckled. Mm. Never got them as a fat lad. No. Never. So you tell me that met women like dad bods. No. I never got wolf whistled when I had a dad bod. <laughs> So you're lying. <laughs> Someone's lying. Somebody might have. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, but it wasn't as freaking as it is. Trust yeah. me. So, it's, yeah, the, it's not true. No. You get a lot more attention. Everyone wants a six pack. Mm. Not everyone, but every young lad that messaged me that's going to Ibiza. How can I get a six pack? I go in three days yeah. and you're like, you can't. <laughs> I, I, I am, I, I'm like that. Not, for me, I am. Yeah, that's how. Yeah, and I suppose I'm judging myself in the wrong, all on all the wrong aspects. Mm. But I do. I go, all right. If, to be fit, then I've got, I've got to have my six pack before I go to my, my going. And that's literally what I'm doing now. So I'm doing, and I'm doing. I know I'm doing all the wrong exercises as well. Eating wrong. That's the, that's wrong. how you get a six pack is eating. Oh really? Yeah. If, if you're not, if you're not in a deficit, you basically just got to have low body fat. That's yeah. It. And it's well, really not Yeah, because they say we've all got one. It's Everyone's just got one. Whether you can see it or not. Yeah, I never knew I had one. To tell, tell a story, I was going down the A46 with my dad and brothers in the car as a kid. Mark Phillips motorcycle. I remember it like yesterday. Mark Phillips uh, motorcycle clothing on the left. And the A46 between Swinderby and Pennells Roundabout. Mm. And uh, we were talking about six packs for whatever reason. I was a kid, maybe 10. And my dad went, yeah, we're not built like that. You couldn't have a six pack if you tried. It's just not us. Like, we're not built that way. So I carried that through my whole adult life. And then... When I did the weight loss, I didn't want him training for it. Like, I just saw one coming. I'm like, there's some lines there. Mm. What the fuck's that? <laughs> and obviously I lost a bit of my weight. Looked in the mirror a couple of weeks later. I'm like, I've got abs. Like, there's abs under there. And that had driven me then. I'm like, shit, I'm going to see if I've got, like, decent yeah. abs. And then ever since that, they have never faded. Even when I bulked, they stayed. Mm. Everyone's got them. But my dad told me we couldn't have them. Like, we were not <laughs> built that. You don't have them. I believed him. Like, because yeah. you do, it's your dad. Yeah. Um, cause he obviously didn't know any better, yeah. but no, we're just big lads with big bones. Yeah. Like, no, nah, I think we just <laughs> eat shit. We just yeah. eat a lot of shit. Oh, and no. yeah, it just appeared. And, and then everyone's like, I want abs like yours. You're like, you don't mate. Or you, the only, the benefit of abs is you just get loads of dudes in boxing asking you how to get abs. Yeah. It's the only That's thing it. you get from it. How do I get them? 
You don't get anything else out of it. And yeah, all you got to do is stop. Stop those crates of beers every night. Yeah, yeah. basically stop drinking is... Budweiser. Yeah, because yeah. that will go straight to the valley. I was drinking so much of them all. Do you know what? Because meal preps as well is something I know straight away if I was doing what you do, I would struggle with the meal preps. See, that's when my wife does it all. Oh, really? You're lucky. Yeah, you're lucky. Yes. What kind of stuff do you eat then? No, no protein. Yeah, I, yeah. My diet, I eat like a monk. Um, I've got all my food packed. Like I, I wouldn't like even if someone offered me a biscuit, no, because it's just Discipline. messes with my head. It's not that. It's just mm. um, it's like the. It wouldn't make a difference to my physique, no. but it's that saying yes once. Yeah. yeah. And then what saying on the way home? I don't just go. Oh, fuck, I've already had that. I'll just grab a good instance. Mm. I'll have that full sugar monster or whatever. Like you just a slippery slope. Yeah. You start saying yes. Yeah. So I eat like for breakfast at the minute I'm bulking. So I'm eating a lot more than I was. I have four slices of bread, toast with 40 grams of peanut butter. And then I'll have a turkey wrap at like 10. And then I'll have loads of sweet potato and minced beef at 12. Then I'll have three boiled eggs and a banana at three. And I'll have 400 grams of white potato, 150 grams of chicken and loads of veg at five. And I'll have a protein shake at half six, and then I'll have 100 grams of Rice Krispies it's a lot of and a protein yogurt at night. Every, every day. Every day. Same. Even even weekends. Every day. Yeah. Do, do you like treat yourself uh, on occasion? If I go, if I'm on holiday, yeah. but I'll still always hit my protein goal. Right. So I'll always make sure I have um, some protein in every meal, like whoever it be. It'll never be the same amount. But like I went to New York for two weeks, a couple of months ago. I'll we went self-catering because then I can manipulate my food. So I'll still have like protein in my breakfast and I'll make sure I have plenty of my dinner and my tea, but I'll have ice creams and beers and like I chill out on holiday, Mm. but I still make sure I get the protein because that's the important thing for muscle mass is if you've got a goal, you've got, you got to stay in your lane. And if, for my mentality, if I slip, I'm very easily just completely U-turn. Yeah. I need to stay somewhere in my lane. Otherwise, with my brain, ADHD, I'd just, I'll lose track altogether. Yeah. So I've got to stay, stay yeah. there, keep, keep looking at the goal yeah. and just keep reminding yourself. And that's why the, I post on Instagram, it keeps myself accountable. Yeah. Because if I post in six months and I'm fat, everyone's going to go, <laughs> yeah. what the fuck? It didn't go well, yeah. dot, dot, dot. Yeah. <laughs> what fair. went wrong here? Yeah. <laughs> you know, all these, all these blokes who have done, or and women as well, who've done their, I've lost, look at me, I lost all this weight, that sort of thing you might end up with a ton of load more followers just because everyone will go, do you remember that bloke who was absolutely shredded? Look at now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Go the opposite way. Yeah. Well, to be fair, I'm trying. I'm yeah. trying to get bigger yeah. now, which yeah. it could call me wrong. Because yeah. <laughs> I've been enjoying the rice crisp, yeah. but now I might be tipping a few extra in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that it helps you, not because you're stronger, but do you think it, the exercise, the keeping fit, do you think that helps you at work as well? Yeah. Because when I was big, do you know when you get down, like before I had a pit, I was 18 stone, so I'd be yeah. rolling around under trailers. Sometimes I'd get under a trailer and I'd think, I can't be able to sit up. Do you know, because I was that big. <laughs> and you'd just lay there and mechanics will know, you'll get under a trailer and no one's looking and you'll just lay flat on the floor doing it. You won't have any, like, you won't sit up, you'd just be like, because I just had no energy to live. Yeah. I was just surviving. Honestly, that's the only way I can describe when I was big was I was surviving and I'd just be doing jobs and then I'd finish it and I'd, just try and scoot out from underneath. See. And then you'd sit up, but you couldn't sit up like this. You had to roll to the side. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it was a full blown effort to get off the floor. Whereas now I've got, I've, all yeah. day I've got a spring in my step. Yeah. And it's like up and down. Just just basically makes life easier. Yeah. I've lost a 20 kilo dumbbell mm. off my yeah. gut, yeah. which is a lot of weight mm. to hang off your back all day. Mm. So that's, Oh, it's, it's life changing. Yeah. Honestly, lose a bit of timber really makes you feel so much better. Yeah, it does. No, not every day is great though. Like, don't, no. like people say exercise, like it cures mental health. No, you still have shit days. Mm, you still you have do. days where you think, fucking hell. Like, it's coping. It's coping yeah. mechanism. It's getting rid of the negative energy. Yeah. And you do get that spike of dopamine and endorphins. Yeah. But you still have days where you go, fuck this. What am I yeah. doing this for? Like mm. what? You still get it. It's not yeah. a cure, but it's certainly better. How many times have you been at the gym? But I mean, when I got halfway through the run and go, should I just stop here now? Just stop and turn around here. Yeah. So you're always going to look look for a shortcut, look for a way out. You, you do, you do. But that's where your discipline's got to then take over and go, no, just mm. do that extra set. Just do that extra mile. Because, well, like I said a minute ago, once you start veering off, 
it's so easy to make that normal mm. and then go back to where you came from. Do you know, like you've, I'll just have ice cream on Friday night just as a treat. And then ah, Saturday morning, I'll just have a bacon butter with the kids. Like just, mm. And then before you know it, it's all these things have become a num- like normal again. Yes. And you look in the mirror and you think, shit, where's it gone wrong? Like, You've got to be strict. Yeah. You have to be, but then don't deprive yourself of the nice thing. If if I'm if the if the lads are going out for a night, I'll have a, pint, have a few pints and then I'll switch to vodka coke. Yeah. Diet Whereas, coke. Yeah, diet coke yeah. vodka. Because there's so many less calories in yeah. it, you get pissed out of your head on a yeah. lot less volume. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not as nice as a freezing cold pint, yeah. but you still get your buzz, you can have your laugh, you lose your inhibitions, you dance, whatever. Yeah. So you've kind of trade off, isn't it? Mm. And then but I always find with the drinking, so with me I can if I have one beer there's so many calories in beer. Oh, as well. It is, but it's so good, isn't it? Yeah. For me, like I've always been a beer lad. Like yeah. a lot of a lot of people don't actually like beer, do they? I love beer. Like you could like in Spain and stuff, it's called Jarro Big Beer, the big glasses. Yeah. I could sink three of them and I'll be absolutely levered. I'm happy. Yeah. But the next three days, yeah. I pay the piper. Mm. Like it it does for me, it doesn't come free. Like it's no. not it's not a I get three hours of a buzz. And then I'm paying the price for three days, whether it's my guts and yeah. like my digestive system shot or my mental to go into the gym's not there. Like I'll go, but my sessions are half arsed. It genuinely affects you. Mm. Like it affects your energy for days. Yeah. For me, it does. Yeah. And I also get anxiety from it. If I have a big session, following days, I have like anxiety. Mm. Like, not that I've done it wrong. I just have like a feeling, you're like a little fluff. You think? Yeah. No, I do. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but... Think, oh, what did I say? What did I do last yeah. night as well? There's I'm not normally that guy drinking. Or... You get like... It's called beer fear, isn't it? Mm. I think the few days after you just have a guilt. Yeah. And I get it every time. Mm. So I I'd, I'd, I'd still have a drink to have, have the crack, right? Because in big social events, I'm quite nervous. So having a drink does let you... It does. So relax easy. a bit. Oh, I hate that. Like going to like a... Or I don't know, an event where there's, you know there's going to be loads of people there and you don't know anyone. Yeah. First thing you do is buy. Oh yeah, yeah. I've learned that. <laughs> yeah. As somebody who's not, I don't, I'm not a big drinker either. But that is, well, why I drink. <laughs> really. it's essentially why really. I drink. Yeah. If Make I'm me an, social. Yeah. It literally is why <laughs> yeah. I drink because I'm a really antisocial yeah. person. I've always loved my own company. Yeah. Um, I class my wife and kids as my own company. Like, yeah. like, like in the house, obviously you'd be so. But if I'm at a wedding. Yeah. And I'm the plus one. You don't know anyone. Yeah. First thing I'm doing is I've got to get free beers down yeah. me. And then I can chat to you. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm going to be like, I mean, you're right. Just nervous energy. Yeah, yeah, and you just, yeah. you like, someone says bye. You're like, have a good, you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You just stumble over yourself. Weather, weather chat. Yeah. Weather chat. Oh my yeah. God. Small yeah. talk. Small talk. Oh, yeah. 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 Small talk. Yeah. Small talk. Oh, what's the, fa- the famous, the one we all do it. You it go in the shop. Tomorrow. You go in the shop and someone goes, Oh no! What 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 the taxis, isn't it? It's like yeah. when you get what a taxi. Until tonight? Don't say it! Don't say it! Don't say it! Don't say it! Don't say <laughs> it! You're busy then. <laughs> <laughs> I do it every time just because I'm a dick. I go to customers and start with. Yeah. You're busy then? I'm like, well, I don't. What was said? What was said? This. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's one where you, I can't remember what these. Well, I've done it so many times. Where you go, you too, and you think, oh, what is it? done it so many times it's, you just stand there in just pure shame. Like, yeah, I know, yeah. I, I, I know where you're going with that. I yeah. can't remember what it is, but I've done it so many times. Yeah, you too, and you think, you fucking dick. <laughs> yeah. You too. Enjoy Before your time. holiday. You too. Oh, they're not, they're not, like that. They're not like, going on holiday. holiday. Happy birthday, you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've done that before. I've done that before. <laughs> you I've just walk one. off, like, just leave it. Yeah. <laughs> just oh, go. I, I, yeah. I, he didn't hear it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hopefully, you think I said something else. Yeah. I've done it so many That's the social yeah. organism, yeah. mate. Yeah. I've got a mate who is just amazing at all social situations. Put him in any situation, he'd just he could talk himself out of it. Or, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, had some, I don't know. I can't, Such I'm not a good like attribute. Yeah. My oldest brother's the same. Yeah. I, we call him the social butterfly. Yeah. You can put him in any room yeah. and he will chat to anyone about yeah. anything. Whereas <laughs> you get me and my middle brother who will always find a corner yeah. and we'll just stay get in. Get away it. from everyone. Just because just we don't know where to be. Yeah. We're always in the way. Or if we're at a big event, we'll end up just working. We're moving the tables and you're not even, you're there in your suit and you'd be like, do you want to clean the glasses? You just want to keep <laughs> yeah. yourself busy yeah. so you're not <laughs> yeah. talking to people. Like, yeah. I'll wash up if you want. And then you fucking yeah. rented suit. Just keep me busy. Keep me yeah. out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. Me and my middle brother, like my oldest brother, he oh. just floats about. No. Living the dream. I can't do sports. Well, I'm pretending to like read stuff off the wall. Like, I just don't want to. 
engage. So I'm just, you know, well, I've got this thing over here to do, haven't I? Or I'm in the car, like, <laughs> pretending to do something because I don't know quite know what to say to you yet. <laughs> yeah. I'm in sales. Oh, Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. My, fa- my favourite one is, I shouldn't say it on here because people know me. Would you, if, if someone's approaching me, I'm, I'll make out my phone rings. Yeah. You know, if I think this is going to be a long conversation, I ain't got time today. I'll just be like... Hey, up, mate. Yeah. And then it actually rings when it's against your ear. I've got a fine yeah, yeah. I can literally, as I pick it up, I can flick it with my nail to silence. Yeah. And I make sure the screen's locked so they can't see my home Yeah, because that's another thing. If they see that. Yeah, I'll make sure it's black. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, just keep going. And then when they're gone, you're like, fuck for that. Yeah. <laughs> that's 20 minutes I've got. I've saved. Yeah, yeah, great. Oh, dear. Well, now it cats out the bag and I'll find some else. Yeah, no, I, know. What's, I know. What's this story of your van being on fire when you're an apprentice? Oh, that I, 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 Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, I've got a few van stories. Oh, did you set it on fire then? Because oh, obviously you don't like IVKs. I don't, I'm not a big fan of them, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've gone out on a break now. a lot. Um, I, I remember the job because it was quite traumatic. Yeah. Uh, I was going to an MAN, this could cracked and lock the wheel up in, it was miles away, but I was on the way going up the, it's A17 or A15 towards Sleaford. I can't remember which number yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, I know the roads. And the one cab- where every, every time you're in a rush there's either a really slow yeah. car in front of you or a lorry or, yeah, or tractors, tractors. Tractor. Yeah. you overtake one guess what you just catch it up oh. yeah there's absolutely no point in overtaking no. Yeah. no I was on that road and the cab's getting smoky and I'm thinking I, I don't know what I was thinking but I'm thinking it's fit. like it'd be fogging up because the blowers weren't very good so I thought maybe I'm breathing heavy but it was a red hot day so I'm thinking it's a bit fucking foggy in here carry on <laughs> and I think oof that stinks Something's not right. Thinking the fan blowers maybe get yeah. up. Must be a regen. <laughs> it was that old. It was a yeah. 54 plate. Oh, the right. thing was rotten. And these cars are flashing me, coming the other way. And it's like average speed. So yeah. I'm thinking, they're just telling me. But then I'm thinking, these, there's too many things going on here. Something's happening. Mm. So I pull over on the grass verge, dry grass fields everywhere. Oh, no. So all the stubble, have just harvested it. So it's all dry. And I get out and I just see smoke coming out my back doors. And I think, what's that? <laughs> what's oh, no. that? I open the back doors, obviously the oxygen goes in, it just goes, just like, no way. just fucking smoke, <laughs> smoke, come out, the flame comes straight around yeah. my face. I'm used to it because like, that's oxycetylene and stuff. And uh, the whole back of the van's on fire. My jump lead had oh, fell on my. the batteries. Oh no. Some reason, arced cross positive and negative and then set my high vis on fire. Like, All the floors covered in like old oil and stuff. Yeah, couldn't have had So the words. floor's on fire. Oh mate, it was a rat mess. I got the fire extinguisher out of the cab. I put it out. Only because the oxyacetylene bottle was there. I can remember thinking about it. If that goes bang in this field. So I put the van, put it out, and it was all the roof was just black. Like the inside of the roof was just char. Like not burnt, but all the soot. And I thought, well, your tools aren't burnt. The compressor still works. I carry on. So I shut the doors. <laughs> Good did the breakdown. Come back the next day, obviously told the gaffer, and he's like, Sam's the back of my head. It's set on fire. Is that like, whatever? You left the compressor running. Didn't believe me, or whatever the scenario was. So I'm cleaning all this soot down. I think I saved your van. Shouldn't yeah. have. It was an absolute dog, that van. Oh. Should have let it burn. But the, oxy- the, the acetylene bottle's in there, and I thought that's going to make a big kaboom. Yeah. That scared me to death. Oh, yeah. But it did. Yeah. There's a lot yeah. of people who just ran from that and thought, it is what it is. Like, I should have. Yeah. I've been like that a few times. Like, I've, I've, I did you get any? You can't park there. It happened, the whole, it happened that fast. <laughs> no, I didn't actually. I can't park there, mate. No. I've had a. a Transit van, I love transit vans. Mm. Just like the, yeah, I just love transit. The old transit van I had. This is not a mechanic related story, but I drove past this Christian festival in it. I don't think I've ever told this story. Um, so it's like lots of travellers. I would, I lived in Carlton Island at the time, and I drove past this Christian festival. And this, my transit van was a, the Mark Seven, so the older shape to the custom. Mm. She was minty fresh, like it was beautiful van, like polished. One an ounce of rust in it, and normally always run. See this Rover 200 follow me out and I've got two track bikes in the back. So oh. the, some does were for bikes. Mm. This Rover 200 is flashing me. So I pull over. I didn't think of other Christian investors. I just see loads of caravans and trailers and vans flashing me. And these traveller gets out of the car. Is that your back door's open, mate? And immediately my brain goes, no, it's not. I've got a fucking light on my dash to tell me if the back doors are open. And my head goes, he's taking your van. So I jump straight back in, speed off. They're chasing me. We're at 80 mile an hour on these back roads. I'm panicking. I'm on my own. I can only see the one driver, but I assume there's more. Yeah. They overtake me, slam the brakes on, stop me in the road. They block the road. So I'm reversing flat out. Three of them get out of the car with bats. Like they've just got tools with them. And they obviously want the van. So I'm reversing. And then this pickup truck comes behind me. 
this red pickup. I'm like, oh no, oh. they've got me in this yeah. two lane road. Um, so I just think, oh, I'll run them over. I'm, ugh, there's nothing yeah. I can do. Thankfully, the pickup was no to do with them. So he moves. So I, I reverse round him and he's just sat in his truck. Like, I'm like, oh, that's not him. So mm. I'm all right. So then I just drive forward. They all jump in the car, move because they see me. I'm traveling on. I'm going to send, I was going to send it. Yeah. But I'd reverse a fair way. I'm scared there's more coming. They jump in the car. I go round them and I'm full tilt. The van was 80 mile an hour. It was fast yeah. for that van. They get past me again. Thankfully, he pulls the handbrake up far too fast and he loops in front of me, goes straight in the ditch. We... Obviously, I just see the water and yeah. steam everywhere. He's obviously blowing the radiator up. So I carry on the way home. Terrified oh. me. A week later, same travellers knock on my door. Oh, no. They've seen it on the drive, but they, they obviously haven't made the relation. Like, do you want to sell your van? They're like, I'm at the, stood, stood at the front door. Like, there's just three of them stood there. Do you want to sell your van? I'm like, no, mate. I want to buy a van. I get cash now. I'm like, it's not mine, it's a company van. It wasn't. I'm just I was thinking yeah. on the spot. He's like, did you, did you ask him to sell the van? Just let me have a look around it. I'm like, no, I don't want to sell it. Give me a card, he might sell you it. Like, he's looking to sell them. Thinking, not on my feet. I'm quite yeah. a thick finger I'm a, from a uh, yeah. council estate. So you've got to think on your feet. So he gives me this card. I think, I've got you now. Because I've got his number in a yeah. gardening company. I said, I'll give you a ring if he wants to sell it, mate. He's like, yeah, all right, all right. And then, obviously, I've got his card. So now I've got some. Yeah. A minute later, I, that week, the van, I had to sell it. Terrified. Yeah. Terrified. Yeah. That van yeah. scared me to death because... Two times in a week, yeah. someone's tried to take it off me. Yeah. Mark Seven Did you join the police? No point, is there? No. I suppose you just did yeah. yeah. But to be fair, you did at that point, you did have number. I had his, like, it was a company a, name and a mobile number, yeah. which is what I thought because he was chatting. Yeah. But there was two of them skulking around the van and it was a, it was a gated driveway. Mm. So they'd open my gate to come in. And so there was obviously meant business, but yeah. once he gave me his card, I think he realised that oh, shit. Yeah. And then he's gone away. And um, yeah, I've never owned a Mark Seven wow. since then. No. Wow. <laughs> terrifying. That, that is a scary one. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Not good. Yeah. No. Yeah. I've had a few terrifying stories, but the podcast get too long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one was uh, this is an dead. exclusive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I could have done a TikTok on that. Yeah. yeah so, well, you, yeah. well, you have now. You just there we go. Got one. You, you, can, you can crop me a short. Yeah. Like, yeah. There you go. <laughs> now you'll get one on that one. <laughs> oh, that scared me to death. Yeah, I can imagine, mate. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Bet you, bet you wish you would have run them. I was going to run them over. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't think about else to do. Yeah. I thought, well. <laughs> Well, what's the way out from there? There, there, there I, isn't. I, 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 I won't bother mm. about the van. It was my track bike. Yeah, because yeah. they were like obviously not insured. The van, you yeah. can take it. I get a yeah. fresh one. But the two track bikes in the back, one was my brother's, one was mine. I thought, well, you know, get them back. Mm. And I just bought five liters of engine oil from Halfords, which is about fifty quid. <laughs> they weren't having that either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can the van. Just let me have the oil. <laughs> I remember thinking about the oil as well. Thinking, I've just bought that. <laughs> I was on the bread line at the time. I reckon. That was a lot of dough. Well, yeah. It was Cadwell the day after, I'm sure it was. <laughs> yeah, they weren't having that van. No. I was willing to stove the front end, but they weren't, they weren't taking the no. <laughs> Get on the insurance for that. <laughs> yeah. Well, thankfully they saw that it was coming, so they moved. Yeah. And it. then messed themselves up later on. Yeah. Oh, dear, oh. dear. Gosh. There you go. Yeah, what a story. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment below who you would like us to get in on the next episodes.